Hey, this is Christian from Exploding Heads. Just wanted to let you know that this episode is about a year and a half old. If you want to check out all the latest and greatest Exploding Heads horror movie podcast episodes, please join us at our Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Exploding Heads. Thanks. Hope to see you soon. figure that out before i press the record <laughs> button <laughs> you're i think you already hit it actually <laughs> hey, man. hello hello <laughs> oh here we go <laughs> yep here we go hello hello when's when they gonna have that reunion as a matter of fact is that show gonna be making the transition to um Dog discussions podcast or is it going to go um independent have you heard i have no clue i should reach out to jeremy and ask him i, I think the show's still going on it, it's him and another guy bobby i think still i mean uh, to be honest i um i have so little time to listen i haven't listened to a podcast in ages the last one was a friday nightmares yeah and i think uh, i told heather when i was listening to it i don't blame you for not listening to podcasts for ages <laughs> after listening to that <laughs> <laughs> well, <that's good. laughs> She knew it was coming. I set that up. It was like, I was like, pass, slam dunk it. Bad like, practice. Yeah. yeah. I listen to everything. I listen to too much. That's why I'm so, you know what I mean? I, angry. I, <laughs> well, things do angry. That, that's it. Things do anger me with the podcast. And I'm not afraid to say when they are. I'm like, well, that's why, why go there and this and that. But I'm also the first guy to heap praise. I just don't have the time to do it. I have the time to listen because I'm walking. I'm at work. I'm, I'm commuting. I don't have the time to come home usually and get into a whole type diet drive. See, Watson does it right. Watson always takes the time to go to the pages. Hey, I'd love the last show. And he'll say why. And, you know, he's a, a, a loyal listener. I love that. I wish more people did that for, although we do get, we do get he's plenty. He's very of good at picking out that one clip and commenting on it. Oh, you stole my, <laughs> you stole my joke, Brandon. I was going to say, he's really good at just randomly going to a five minute segment in the show and then commenting in the post about I that. Know, I know you've made that joke a million times and I'm starting to think it's true. He's like, oh, I especially love that one part. Like, I, I can't. I am on a new. I, I'm taking a new leaf. I, I don't. I because this actually leads right into something, David. You know about this. I guess some listener really thought I hated Watson or something. And and yeah, I believe uh, I heard that. Yeah, it was on the Watson show. He's supposed to wrote in, or you talked about it or something. He anyway. Watson says you know about this, and I've been meaning to ask you about it ever since and say like, who was it? What is it? Like I Art, guess. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no hit. I, I mean, it's part of the joke. Sure, he gets under my skin as I get under his. Uh, but I think it's all more because we're just poking at each other constantly. But it's all out of love. I mean, at the end of the day, he, he always says he won't take the bait. And uh, he always gives me compliments, which then I feel horrible about after. But uh, yeah. I, yeah, I guess, you no, you're not going to give me any more story. I said I was oh, going to bring it up in the next episode. Well, the thing is, I wish I would have had time to prep. I don't remember the guy's name. I could have just gone back and listened and, and heard. Was uh, it was it Gary? Was it Gary Miller? No, he would know better. Who the fuck was it? Son of a bitch. Everybody tonight is Gary Miller. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, it's Gary Miller time. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's it's Gary Miller his life. <laughs> He's going to be the guy of the show. Instead of talking about Jason Smith a hundred times, it'll be Gary yeah. Miller this episode. <laughs> I wish I could remember, honestly, but he did say, I think it was, maybe it was from a foreign land. And maybe that's why he didn't understand that Marco. type of joke. It was Marco. No, it wasn't, it wasn't anyone that we speak to on the regular. It's somebody that says he does. <laughs> well, isn't that what, isn't a foreign land does? No? Yeah. 
Anything. Yeah, everyone's from a far <laughs> land to each other. But we're on the same continent. You know? Come on. You got to at least give us that. It sure. was something along the lines of, like, I thought Canadians were nice. He actually went into, like, a little bit of it when he was on the show the last time. But I don't, But there was more to the story. He said that you should tell him. But, of course, Dave doesn't remember because he's got a fucking memory like a... Uh, like someone with a bad memory. Who? <laughs> yeah. What's the opposite to... of an elephant? Yeah, you wanted to say an elephant, a dumb elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do elephants have Cyber good memories? Where does that come from? Does anybody know that? Why that's even a thing? They carry all their memories in their trunk. <laughs> <laughs> right out of the gate. With a great two joke that you know was in a book, but you, he oh, remember. No, I, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> but those are the best. <laughs> yeah, the they are the best. Okay, I'm looking it up. Why do elephants have great memory? Okay, elephants never forget and they never forgive. Oh wow, never, okay. that sounds like Dave Z. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very forgiving. What are you Did talking about? Like HS. <laughs> <laughs> More on that in a minute. Pull that yeah, boulder. Yeah. Drunk. <laughs> I'm very forgiving. I don't, I, and I do forget. Not, I don't plan to forget. I can't help it. Obviously, I, I, I don't have the. Too recently, an elephant was staring at him like fucking cut box, motherfucker. <laughs> cut box. Cut box. You might oh, as well shit. cut the ivory off him. <laughs> it's like the same crime. Okay, here it is. They have a highly developed hippocampus and cerebral cortex which is responsible for willpower and problem solving. It is due to these brain qualities of elephants that grant them such amazing memories. That's the scientific... Well, yet they can't figure out how to escape from the fucking tent. <laughs> <laughs> but how do they know they have good memories? What, do they test them? Do they put a fucking Simon in front of them? <laughs> do they play a card game? How do they know? Yeah. Big brain doesn't Absolutely. necessarily... Test. <laughs> well, there have been stories where elephants, like, they'll, they'll lose, like, somebody in their pack or herd, whatever they call it, and they'll be sad for, like, ever. Like, their personalities will change. So they, they don't, like, get over things. Oh, well. Stuff like that. Okay. I can buy that. That's something. It is, so they remember that. Yeah, and they probably just, I mean, scientists just studying the brain probably after death like they would our brains. Wow. I think they've got also a little, a little Tory, uh, Tory, Corey Feldman going up to him going, don't you remember? Don't you remember? <laughs> remember. Uh, it, it was, I'm just going to leave. Oh, <laughs> that was the worst joke I've ever cried. I'll, I'll see you guys later. I was laughing even though I'm not sure what the hell you were talking about, but it was funny. Like, I don't know like what the joke is. But it's still funny to me. It's just Corey Feldman from the end of part four of Friday the 13th. I was somehow trying to relate this to a Friday the 13th film. I was like, don't you remember? And it was the worst. Oh, okay. I'm actually embarrassed by that joke. Yeah, I think, you, yeah, you know what? After you explained it, I think you should leave. I love the joke, and it's a Friday related thing. The only reason I didn't laugh is when you said Corey Feldman, I started thinking about um a, um, a letter that was written to one of the Fangorias. That I was reading the other day because now I have seven issues. Well, you don't understand. It's funny. You have way more than seven issues. Trust me. No, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> I, have, I have it written down so when I collect, I know not to go after that particular one. I have. Here's what I have now. He's not 15, taking 15, 42, 71, 72, 80, 81, 87. One, Hike. two, four, seven. <laughs> Hike. <laughs> Omaha. 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 On his A game. I still like the issues. You have way more than seven issues. <laughs> oh, that kind of issue. Son of a bitch. I, even I thought he was busting my balls for buying so many so quick. It's, oh, God. See, that one went right over. I, I got you. That went over my head. He said, Go, don't you remember? I thought about a letter somebody wrote into the Fango because I read it the other day. And I, it was interesting because... Uh, maybe I'll read that one. Maybe I'll go grab that particular one to read because it's, it's kind of funny. That's what it is about the Fangorias. In retrospect, to read what people were saying at the time, and we all know what happened. You know what I mean? It's yeah. really interesting. But anyway, elephants. Yeah. John, don't you remember? You know what I'm talking about? Dumbo. 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 Uh, 
I know. I, I still haven't seen the newer the new live action one, but no, that damn cartoon one, it always made me it made me sad in two parts. It made me really sad when the mother was by herself in the cage and then or in the in the thing, and then at the end, it made me happy sad when he could fly and show everybody, fuck you. Did you ever see Operation mm-hmm. Dumbo Job? No, but I remember that coming out, and this, the title alone was like, well, that's going to bomb. <laughs> Wasn't Dom DeLuise in that movie? I think Danny Glover. I think Danny Glover's in it. We got to look it up. Danny Glover and Dom DeLuise, they look alike, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's very easy to confuse the two. And guaranteed, uh, Danny Glover said, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> you know why I said that? Uh, no. Dom DeLuise was in Smokey and the Bandit 2, and there was elephants in that movie. That's oh, why. Okay. That's how my fucking. I like Dom DeLuise and Fatso. That oh, I love Fatso. Nobody. That's another over underseen, overlooked comedy. You from can't the, find. It doesn't even have like a DVD release. I've looked for it. I so have much. it on VHS still. Oh, that, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, Fatso's right there. there. Fatso's Here's the cross section. Yeah. Three people that actually did something. And then, like, okay, so Danny Glover, and the fact that I remember that is actually, I'm almost, I think I should leave on that more so than the other <laughs> joke. Uh, Ray Liotta, Dennis Leary, and then Dougie Doug. Remember Dougie Doug? No, Dougie no one Fresh. remember Dougie Doug. <laughs> Dougie Fresh. <laughs> Dougie Fresh. Uh, but no, no Dom DeLuise. No, it was it was the Smoking the Bandit connection. There was <laughs> elephants. He was treating them, kind of like you do. You know, he was, he was washing them and doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Just cock. I gotta tell you, I have no interest, and maybe I'll bend to it someday. But when they came out with a live action Aladdin and, and Beauty and the Beast, although I do want to see Emma because she's, I, I think she's hot. But I mean, um, in this Dumbo thing, she's my uh, favorite Watson. <laughs> <laughs> she's my third. I, I'll still yeah. take. I'll still right, take after um, Stu. <laughs> yes, after Stu too. Yep, both Stu Watson. Stu too. <laughs> Although, if I had to be tripped on a desert island with one of them, I'm taking Emma. Sorry. I mean, a man has needs. You know, yeah. I'm by myself, and they go, you got to take one of these three Watsons. Emma's coming. Sorry. Yeah. It's, it's I, don't think there's a, I don't think the other two would even come into my my, my actual brain. <laughs> even if it wasn't a desert island at that point. Even if it was like, about- you have lunch. I, it's not going to be with Stu or Mr. Stu <laughs> <laughs> <Do> or Mr. <laughs> Well, they're actually what about, what about Lil? I mean, <laughs> Lil, and I just said by accident, they're actually both stew. I meant to say they're actually both Mister. When you get right down to it, you know. But <laughs> son of a bitch, signs all over the place. Um, so Dumbo, let me tell you, I'm gonna come clean on this. So Dumbo. I gotta come clean on it since you said yeah. since you said it too. That scene in the cartoon. When when he goes and visits his mom and they play that song "Baby Mine," I gotta tell I cannot watch that with anyone else around. I won't watch that movie with my daughter Maya because I cannot fucking help but cry. That is the one scene in cinematic history that fucks me up every time I see it. There's this Disney cartoon, and I'm gonna go another step on it. <sighs> when we found about, lu- about the cry. <laughs> when, when we found Lucky, when we found Lucky. Oh. And it was real touch and go for the first couple of days. We had to separate him from all the other cats because he had fleas and worms and everything else. So we had to go in this one room and spend all he, – he spent the first, like, two weeks of his life all isolated. The only people he saw – the only – my wife and I would have to take turns going in there. Like, she would literally mother him in the middle of the night, and we have to go in there and, and feed him and stuff like that. So – what we did was we didn't know that he was deaf yet, but what we wanted to do was we wanted him to you know to have nice things, to hear nice things. So we played him. She had the station on her on her iPhone or Spotify or something, and it played all these songs, and they were like instrumental like baby songs, stolen right? cat songs, like yeah. songs yeah. you play when you steal a cat. <laughs> <laughs> steal that cat and make yeah. it fast. Yeah, everything's was... from Cat Stevens. <laughs> it's the weirdest. Thing. <laughs> Anyway, so I would sorry. be picking up this this little frail baby and trying to teach him to walk and try to do this and and hold him and comfort him and so I, I'm telling you he he really was frail and fucking in, in rough shape poor bastard you know so so we're there <laughs> poor and, we're, and, I, and I'm and I'm holding him and, I, and I'm I'm cradling him and he's got his blanket and he's walking around and I'm just at this time it's really early in the relationship so I'm still thinking how could these people do this to this this poor thing you know I, I was just feeling fucking. I don't know. It was just in my head and everything and this poor little guy, what he went through. So there I am. 
and all of a sudden an instrumental like like a nursery version of fucking baby mine came on of all song and it took me about 30 seconds in i'm like are you fucking kidding me this is what they're playing here and i fucking sat there and held this little baby and fucking cried like a bitch and nobody knows it no well now everybody knows that listens to the show steve i never Watson told anybody knows. <laughs> yeah, steve, steve. <laughs> oh, the subscribers are dropping off one but it's it's oh my god it's a it's like Bitcoin stock. It's just <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? It hit me, man. I was buy like, low. Buy low. <laughs> I, I I'm trying to make I just want to make sure that the listeners are remain buy entertained during the story. <laughs> the but that is it. And I bet I could just see you doing that. And that's just, that's the crazy shit. That's the stuff that we you know, there were certain songs, songs, that's why I love music. Such an emotional attachment in a very short period of time. I picture Dave skin to skin with Lucky, trying to get him to latch on. But just, just latch on. Latch on. <laughs> no Take song does it to me, and it's no no He's real shoulder. Because my parents, my uh, my my dad and I, my mom and I, we all we all had a great relationship. Everything, I mean, great. I'm just saying, but Cats in the Cradle, that song. Makes me tear up every time I hear it. I don't know. It's just such an emotional song. Maybe like, Maybe I'm, I guess I'm dead inside. Nothing makes me cry. Lucky you. See, everything you are, I envy. Uh, believe me, I'd rather not fucking feel this that way. Hair? It sucks. <laughs> Told it you it was going to be fluffy. Yeah. I'm telling you, it sucks. It, it sucks having being an emotional guy. It oh, fucking really does. So I, what are you talking about? I'd yeah. rather not. It's easier. Be dead inside. No, being dead inside is the way to go, man. Shit, that's fucking. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you because fucking you're you're, yourself. you're you're Teflon. You're me. Other people don't yeah, drift towards that. Then, trust me, it has downfalls. I guess so. I guess so. I just everybody wants to. <laughs> we gotta take what a pill. I don't know. It's to me anybody who's dead inside and needs golf. <laughs> Which is why it wasn't Brandon like a pro. At one point, like a golf pro. Point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he was on my TV once. I saw him at ESPN. He was swinging. Wasn't a playing pro. It was a teaching pro. Oh, I, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Called you right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I knew you weren't on. I was. Just... I know. <laughs> I wouldn't even let you go with the joke. I was just like, shut that shit down. <laughs> I wish you were. That'd be awesome. You could. Is, is it too late? Is there like an age thing? No, there's not. They have the master's store, or not the master's. They What's that shit called? The seniors. Yeah, they have a senior store. You could still become pro if you had the ability. Yeah, fifty and over, they call it. Well, call has it. anybody <laughs> has anybody ever not been known, and then at the age of fifty plus said, "I'm going to go pro and then become famous"? There, or they have all like- been, there have been a few guys who have played on the Champions Tour, as they call it, who never played on the PGA Tour. Yes. Wow, amazing. That's cool, man. Imagine that. Just yeah. like get that to that point in your life. Well, I've worked for the past fucking thirty years. I, I, I don't want to do real work anymore. I got a pretty good golf game. I'm going to try to go play. They make some good money out there, too. They make oh, shit. Or you should do boxing. That was your other passion. Just at, at age 50, just take up boxing. <laughs> I like watching it. I wouldn't say I'm passionate about it. We should have you a got heart, kid. You got heart. I'm not supposed to give out. Line you heart, heart. You got heart, line heart. <laughs> we should get a bunch of our friends together and have a boxing tournament. Instead of the <laughs> trivia thing that they that, that debacle, imagine that we could have like Brandon versus um I don't know Jerry Herring or something, and then I, we could have like a JP Stu. versus Watson. No, you know? I want to see Stu Watson versus Mr. Watson. <laughs> That's true. I do. Let's have the Watson square off. Yes. <laughs> I, I want to see Mr. Watson versus Emma Watson. <laughs> <laughs> If only we can get Emma on a podcast, and we can, and we can do it. We can have Emma versus like um. I'm, I'm sure she's Chicago. available. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, sure. What, what, what show? Exploding Heads Horror Movie Podcast. Uh, <laughs> sign me up for that. <laughs> I'm gonna try, just for the sake of it. Maybe okay. she'll pull us a bone. She's maybe she's inside the house. We couldn't even get that Porto star, you knew. <laughs> I could have got her. Of course, Porto I star. <laughs> Don't you remember? But then we said we didn't know if we could contain ourselves because we'd be asking like, you know. How many cocks you had in one scene or something? I don't know. <laughs> I'd be showing mine, be like, is this average? Is this average? <laughs> Tell me it's average. Tell me it's average. Tell me it's average. 
It's the job. That's why I don't I don't get amateur porn. Like I don't want to see somebody like me banging. Yeah. Oh, but hold get... on. I've recently got developed an affinity for it. I, I, I don't know. It's very popular. It's very You know popular. why? And I don't mean amateur porn like I'm gonna go get, you know it has to be amateur porn where it's almost done where a well, guy and a girl up. are hooking up somewhere and the guy says, Hey, let, let's record it on the phone and do it that way. Because it turns me on that that girl's such a dirty birdie. She's doing it. <laughs> and it's amateur. Cause it's like, I could be that guy. It's easy to do. I mean, I can't now cause I'm married, but uh, you know, when I was single and I would hook up with girls, that's a rush. So the fact that some girl's not getting paid to do it at all, she's just a, a girl that wants to bang. That's a bigger turn on. You know what I, bang bus. It's <laughs> staged. It can't be staged. It's got it's to all stage. Staged. The bang. I think it's all no, staged. Not all. Not the amateur stuff where that that, that guy's filmed on the phone and this and that and the other thing. And you could because you don't see those girls again. You can look them up. Who is this? And believe me, it's just like let's say I was a single guy, and I went out this this weekend and I brought a girl home, um, you know, and it came up to film it. I could fucking film that shit if she was down for it, and I could upload it to, to a site, and it's. I don't know. That that's kind of a turn on to see. Good on it. you for not saying a site like Christian who drops like different sites every week. He's on the bang bus. <laughs> Christian's I don't want to know what he's done with that fucking mannequin. <laughs> you ever see uh you ever see um dog fart? Dog yeah. fart. That's, that's is that what that is? Is that what that is? Yeah. I I remember seeing that. I was the like, name. The, the name is like Gross. dog fart. <laughs> oh, I couldn't watch that dog fart. I mean, I wanna... dog fart. That's like the, the production company. That's yeah, why I, I, I again stolen kitty or or cat queef productions. That should be <laughs> our. Uh... <laughs> I could watch cum fart all day, but but not like... not not dog fart. You know, I'll get right right to it. Stolen Kitty is a good gimmick for our. Like I, I can even picture like a hand swiping down, like a, a cartoon thing at the beginning. Stolen <laughs> Kitty, like a hand swiping down and like picking up a cat, like it, it, it body arches and it gets you. Yep. Wow, you know, like Stolen that. <laughs> I'm telling you, I pictured it now since you said it. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. And if we just cut to that, that back to the house where that boy was, and a single tear comes down his cheek. <laughs> Fuck that boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it's really his parents fall for reason in that yeah. way. But I'm just saying. Oh, I think that kid uh I don't know. I, I, I forget he, the way he minimalized this cat's life was just so it's it was just it just rubbed me so wrong. He was just like, um, yeah, I don't think he's around anymore or something. I don't know what the hell he said, but it was just like such a I don't know, a turn off. But whatever. It's water under the bridge. Lucky is happy, healthy, uh, joined at the hip. To me and my wife. Holy cow. There's, I don't, I don't even hear that. now. I I've got a cat hearing aids from my, uh, <laughs> from my other job. <laughs> cat hearing aids. <laughs> I Co- couldn't hear. You get some for implants? No. It was the worst fake meow I've ever heard. <laughs> A cat and his reaction to it, oh. hearing it for the first time. Shouldn't he be hearing his own voice for the first okay. time? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, he could no. be doing that, too. He could be doing that, too. <laughs> okay, good joke, then. Just a damn joke. <laughs> I, I don't joke. need you. Oh, I don't. <laughs> good story, Gordy. Good story. I just don't oh. like the ending, you know? <laughs> okay. So, two movies today. Some random shit. <laughs> yeah. What else is new? Back to the Grill, although this week we got to do two new movies because of the snafu we had last week where we had to do two old. After this day, after this episode, we'll go back to the old school and it'll be an old and a new, unless I won't even try to get screeners anymore. That's what I get. You know, come on. So <laughs> I, just, I got the screener to work. So I watched this when we were supposed to watch it. I was the only one that got it to work. You had to jump through hoops to make that work. It wasn't simple. So fuck you. Make it simple. Downloading authenticators need FBI approval, need a CIA <laughs> password. It's a fucking movie. Yeah, <laughs> and not that great. It was good. It was good, but it's not. Come on, it's not the second coming. My email popped up on the thing, so like, I guess if you try to pirate it, like it would be linked to your email. That's fine. I get it. But the, go to this with the second authenticator and then pop in this. I'm like, 
Fuck off. You have a two I minute tried time. to pirate it. I tried to throw it overboard. It won't stay. <laughs> <laughs> It was coming up on Shutter in one week. I got, I, I was almost like you guys. I'll wait the week, but I'm like, no, I gotta make this work. I gotta make this work, and I did. And I'm the only one, the only smart one on the group here. I didn't even try because as soon as Brandon was having all that trouble, I said, well, I'm not gonna put myself through that. Oh, you would have gone, you would have gone insane. I would have broke my computer probably. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I would not. Have I know you. Yeah, you, that would have not been good for you. Brandon was right to warn you ahead of time. <laughs> Thank goodness. See, I got to give Brandon props because he, he he was watching it earlier. Like, I would have waited till Friday night to even think about it. In, yeah, in I'm the trying to get him done earlier now. I'm trying <laughs> to be done by Thursday, Friday at the latest. Right. Well, yeah. Do it. That's that's smart. I mean, that's good. I'm on Mr. Last Minute. But I have to be because of my, my damn memory. It's yeah. way to go. I watched both movies yesterday, you know? So well, what can you here's do? the thing. And, and again, it's not a detriment to the movie, but I mean, Psycho Gorman, you don't really have to worry about r- retaining anything. That's just a fun, it's like a fun, <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, seriously, I don't mean that in a negative way in this, in this case. It's like, yeah, it's uh, not, it's not riddled with death. Whereas <laughs> fucking the queen of black magic, as we'll get into in a sec, 13 characters introduced in the first 15 minutes. And I know <laughs> every single fucking character's name because I wrote it down and I memorized every best. single and I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? 13? Ca- That's not even including our fucking supernatural beings. <laughs> Honestly, the best thing about the movie is when they'd be talking and uh, in their in their native tongue. And then they'd be like, Jeff, Jeff, just come out. And you're just like, that doesn't sound like a name that you would expect from from uh, Indonesia or, or, or whatever. I, I could be wrong. I'm just true. But it was only but it was only one F. It was more like half J.E.F. Oh. It was more like yeah. Hefrey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, then, then forget everything I've said. In <laughs> fact, we're gonna call we're gonna call JP Hapy. <laughs> you dirty Hapy. <laughs> Cut your hair. Let's get you into dirty it. Hapy. All right. Oh, now here's the thing. L- let me say this oh. about like- both movies tonight. One of them is so it's gonna be so hard to say anything without spoilers that we're not gonna be able to say enough. And the other, there's not a whole lot to say. I mean, there is, but plot wise. No. So th- these are going to be really short, which is fine. We'll have more BSing time, but I want to yeah. put that out. We're really going to try not to spoil, but here's my problem. I have a serious question. I have a serious question about Queen of Black Magic that it's going to affect my rating because at the end of the movie, I was like, I don't like that one aspect of the film. I, why did this person? Anyway, maybe dude, I'll be able to dude, phrase it in so a way. Many, I have so many of those not- questions. We could, we could maybe just be like, spoiler alert for like a no, minute. No, no. We can't. If we're going to do it, we'll do it at the end of the show. <laughs> we can't. People are too uptight about it. Now, I don't want to... Fuck know, those people. What, person, what, is, what is this? Your VHS what group? Person. What is what this? Person. Your VHS group? Next. Don't. Not yet. Uh, don't. Let's Let's have fun first before so we start talking about... These are new movies. movies, so let's... Uh, let's... Uh, we'll be respectful because they are both new and people may have not been able to see them yet. There's nothing to spoil, really, in Gorman, <laughs> I don't think. Oh, you're being funny. Gorman? Oh, what, what, what is he, that? Jewish? <laughs> Hey, Psycho Gorman. <laughs> well, by the way, it's... Hey! Oi! Oi! Gorman! I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Sorry. It's a horrible... Please get into the plot. Terrible. Okay. The Queen <laughs> of Black Magic, which, which, so people know, is a remake of a 1981 film, which actually had a sequel as well. And they actually show um, pictures of the old film at the end of this one. Do they really? Yeah. Okay. This one is uh, just new on Shudder. Families were terrorized at the orphanage. Someone wants them dead. Apparently with black magic that is very deadly. She has a grudge, and she was also born because of the sins of the orphans who formed her into the queen of black magic. That's the IMDb. Wow, that's, that's spoiling it. enough already. Holy cow. <laughs> Guys, if you look at IMDb, see what oh, happens. Oh, come on. She has a grudge. Of course, it's the queen of black magic. You know, it's but a- that's, that's yeah. the thing about it. Is that the end of the description? That's it. It's terrible. Directed That's by Kimo Stamble and written by Joko Anwar. And that and that's the thing. I see, I've seen, and I continue to see horror fans blowing this movie. So this may be something up, up for you. I think it was good, but it's like when I say like I, again, I, I think someone said it was going to be on my top ten or whatever. I'm. It's not even approaching a top ten. 
This is uh, this is not a highly rated film for me. I was incredibly disappointed by it. I thought the first half of the film was so much set up and was so slow that by the time they got to the gore and the horror of the second half, I was kind of checked out. And I didn't think the gore and the horror of the second half was that impressive either. And where the story goes and some of the big reveals, I'm not spoiler, spoiling anything, but... Uh, I was very confused, and none of it made sense to me, and, and I couldn't get it to make sense. I couldn't wrap my head around it, and I found that it was. I want to be careful to use the word derivative because, of course, it is, it, it is though. Because it is a remake, so it would be derivative of the remake, but it also seems to be derivative of all these like Indonesian type films that seem to be coming out. I feel like I'm seeing the same thing over that. and over. Yeah, right. I agree. I agree. Been there, <laughs> done that, and. You think it's unfair? How? I think it's unfair to, to, to let me because to to say that as a critique because we could say the same things about the Japanese films from from the nineties and the early two thousands how they're derivative of each, of each other they're very familiar uh, people could be from other countries watching our supernatural movies of Conjuring and this and that and all the other ones that that come across the border and they would say that our movies are probably derivative too I just think it's the culture I, I don't think it's a fair criticism is all I'm saying. It okay. is the culture. Uh, it's definitely the culture, but it's like, I mean, these are the guys who did in Pedagor, and it's like, I don't know. You've seen the same things over and over. Bugs, this, that. It's like, like give oh, us too many no. bugs. Oh, it's bad right? CG. The uh, CG, I thought, look, I thought looked wonky. Too many characters, as Brandon mentioned at the beginning, that they just don't deal with characters for like 50 minutes and then come back to them, and it, it's just very, it's very disjointed. I it found. Is. And it, I, it's not to say there's not effective scenes in it. There's a there are effective scenes. I'm see. I, I again, this always happens. I actually don't dislike this movie. I uh, and I'm gonna be a branded here where I end up coming in, but it's not as high. I was like texting Jason Smith back and forth, and he he was a little higher on it than I am. And I'm like, yeah, but I again, everything Brandon said, I just found like it's it's been there, done that. And if it's gonna be a been there, done that, then what they do with that is what's important and i didn't think it was all that special that's the thing once the the plot reveal was everything we've seen from any revenge film or or or, or someone that um is, is um sort of haunting an area and whatnot when you get the reveal of the story and the backstory i'm not saying that there's not some surprises there but Again, there's just too many characters. They're about to rush to a hospital. They get kind of derailed. Why can't some people just leave? It just seems like nothing. I know they have one car, but it just, I feel like they just made too many excuses to well, try I to thought, keep people in I the did, house. I did think that part yeah. was cool. The the whole black magic sort of having them go in a loop. It was very, uh, Nightmare like, 4. What would you hate? Yeah, I understand, but it's the, still the Nightmare 4 gag. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. No, but I, that I didn't mind. I liked the scene the first time at the bus when they discovered the kids. Oh, I yeah. don't like the excuse for the kids. That's a that's a lazy writing technique. Wow, we, it's funny well, because as we're watching it, I said, I wonder why. And my wife said right away. She goes, well, this is why. And then sure enough, that was the answer. She and when she and, right out. And when we get the reveal of why and, and the, the line is delivered, I'm like, that's so fucking lazy and stupid. That's exactly well, my wife is lazy and stupid because that's exactly no, what she said. No, she's not lazy and stupid. The, the excuse is lazy and stupid. No, but she she said that when I was questioning, I I, I said I wonder why, and I, I'm you could quote. She said the exact same word. She goes because of this, and then it's going to be revealed that they're better off than having oh, this happen. I hate that's what my it. wife oh, said. I, I know, I know, but I cringed. I cringed. I was like, that's so fucking stupid. It's like also our lead character Hanif, he he's coming. They're gonna meet the brothers there. If you knew the background of what happened at this place, would you really yeah. bring your whole family with you there? I know he felt an obligation to go because the headmaster w was dying and stuff, but he knew what he did. It's not like he suppressed it and realized halfway through. I I would not bring my family there. I it think just, he wants piece of the action. I think I think I think there's a financial gain going on here, or not just a financial gain. There's a they already have money. A, a gain as a person to possibly take this over and, and being being involved with the orphans, so these people have a place to stay instead oh, of yeah. It, no, he feels a sense to help out, but I still wouldn't bring right. my family around there. Yeah, I don't know. 
I think, see, look at it this way. If you were an orphan and you had two orphan brothers and you knew each other for years and you haven't seen each other in a while and now you all have families and you're driving up, I don't know. I could see it as an opportunity. Let's go and take the kids and, and meet these friends that, that I've, you know, that I've had for years. Let's go meet them and their family. And we, it's free room and board for a couple of days. We're just going to go there, pay our respects, maybe sign some papers or something, be out. I don't see that be a, to be such a big thing. Again, I also think that one of the guys repressed it because he basically never spoke of it. So I think maybe they weren't even thinking about what they did. That is one criticism I'll say. As soon as they said that, as soon as they said about the place is going to be sold, something's going to happen. The first thing I did was I turned to my up and said, well, I, I can guarantee you that somebody is, and I'm not going to say it, but I, I knew where that was going, that they had a secret, and it's probably going to be this, something that can be discovered if they excavate the place or, 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 or check things out. So I knew where it was going. I don't know. See, that that's when I think it's a nitpick. Where, where, where If you aren't crazy about a movie, I don't know. It's all right. They don't do anything I, with I the characters. They, they introduce all these characters to really just push them aside and then deal with the main ones. In which case, then you're like, well, why didn't you just deal with the main ones? So I feel like they that's where the More weaknesses kills. of the movie come through. Good kills, yeah, though. The, Great kills. I, 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 there's, I obviously, some gore. there's some good gore, but there, then there's some stuff that, like, I don't know if it's budgetary limitations or what, but the most effective stuff when that when the there's a scene where someone is floating. And then they just do a point of view of them coming towards the group, and it's just it it takes the effectiveness away. I don't know. I'm try, I try to be cryptic, so I don't spoil like I usually do. But I just I just felt it very. And again, I I, I whether a, a weak critique or not, I just felt like everything we were seeing, especially plot wise, was very tired. Yeah. Very as, tired. as slow as the first half is, I feel like that's where some of the strongest stuff looking back on it now is because you get the, the three kids of our main characters. You get the three kids kind of getting the, the, the lore and the background from uh, from the two kids who live there. Right. And, and that's I what like I have. I like the back and forth. Yeah. I, I like the back and forth there, and I like the stories, the knocking on the door, this and that. Oh, I've seen this one. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. But once it gets into, you know, the, the reveals and everything, it kind of like – well, why is this person doing that? Is this person alive or dead? What happened to this person? Why is this person helping this person? Like, why? I just I just have a lot of whys. Okay, so I do have... Okay, I'll, I'll meet you on that. I do have two whys, and I could probably say them and keep it cryptic, but I love the reveal. When we find out what was truly at hand here, especially when we get the first story from the girl that tells it to the other girl and she's educating her on it. And then we get the reveal of what's going on with, with, with the person and why this is happening. I thought that was great. I was like, that, wow, that, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I'm basic. I just, to me, it was a good reveal. And I don't recall seeing a whole lot of movies with that same type of reveal. I just, I, I dug it. And then again, two small problems. Small problem. These are the ones that were kind of a big problem because I really loved the movie. But my issue is this. The one was real small. Somebody goes digging under something for no apparent reason and something is discovered. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? When the, what, Okay, the big reveal of what who the, the bad person really was comes. It's because yeah. somebody decided to go into a room and start yes. snooping. Okay, why... Was there a good reason set up for that? My wife tried to play it off like, well, she just got a vibe because she thought she was a witch. She's like, oh, no, she has a witchy vibe or something. But it turned out, well, not necessarily. I, I don't know. But it's like, what? It, here, it would have been better suited if it happened in the other room where she was told there was something that was under under the floor. You know what I mean? Okay, let's go in there and look. But why did she just for no reason go in there, talk to the person in bed, and then start lifting up plates? I don't, I don't have a direct answer to that, Dave. My, my answer will be a, a jump around in the sense of like, I feel like a lot of the story is revealed in weird sort of just happenstance or, or, or we just, this is the next thing. Like almost like they've watched a possession movie before or whatever. And that's the problem is like, I don't feel like the story, you know, necessarily grows or, or, or it just happens. I don't and know what the movie, talking about. Make, the pictures um, be when the pictures were discovered. Remember where uh, they discovered yeah. and, how, and how? Why did that person go there to get those pictures? How's that? 
Well, the the little boy found the picture album underneath very early on, underneath the ca- underneath the cabin, and pulled it out, and he unfolded the picture. So right then and there, you kind of saw the relationship of. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you get Forbidden to look at a whole bunch of pictures and you get all these reveals of all the people that were involved. It was in like a, a music box or a jewelry box. Yeah. Somebody went into a room for no reason and just started snooping around in, in an unusual place to find that box. It was, uh, what's her name? It was the wife. Yes, it was. Yeah. Why did she go there? There was no explanation for that. Correct? She was, <laughs> at this point, the, the little son, they couldn't find the little son, right? Haki? Yeah, oh, for half an hour of the movie. They couldn't find it for half an hour. Okay. Maybe he's under these floorboards. Like, yeah, he okay, just, I mean, I understand you. he gets, yeah. he gets attacked. And again, it, it's a part of the story. I don't think it's a, but so that part at least is explained why he's gone, but people are just sort of, they just disappear, walk through the doors. Oh, have you seen your brother? No, well, we haven't seen him for the last little bit. I mean, it just, there's some scenes that you're just like, what is going on? Why didn't they just make this a little bit more, tighten it up a little bit and make it a little bit more like, I guess, urgent. There was a, a lack of a sense of urgency in certain aspects where then they put a lot of it, like when they finally get into the car and they're about to go, but then something keeps them from leaving. They got to get back in the house. And there is some really good, cool things that do happen to these characters and, and, and some of the gore that, that they're, they're put through is, is fantastic. But it's just these story story elements that really, I guess, kept me from thoroughly enjoying it or 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 feeling like it was the movie that other people had been raving about, for sure. Um, there was an aspect. Oh yes, one of the things I wanted to say is if you're going to be a, a human piece of shit and do what you did, wouldn't you frame it properly or more more discreetly in the pictures and maybe not, I don't know, showcase yourself in a reflection. I uh, that's because that's part of the know. attraction, though. That's part of what they get off on. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I have, I have no issue with that. To the, I think that would add to the freaking alert that I did it. <laughs> yeah. Granted, that's I crazy. know it's a, it, it's a, yeah. it's. I get what you're saying. You could say that maybe it felt contrived to have that to have his part because it, it, honestly, it's not necessary. If you're going to be keeping those pictures in that place, obviously they're yours. You know what I mean? So I guess it's almost like it was done for American audiences, where usually in when. You know what I'm saying? Usually right. those things are left out of foreign films, but they're emphasized strongly, more strongly when they have remakes of it or, or whatever. And they go, okay, well, we got to make sure the audience knows this. So you're kind of right, but it didn't bother me. As far as them not having any urgency with, with hockey puck being lost, the problem was this. They all had their own issues going on at the same time. That's why they were preoccupied. It wasn't just like they were hanging around eating dinner. Oh, by the way, where's your son or or where's your brother? This guy had this going on with with this person. This one had that scene going on with with the guy when when he turned on her. All the other crazy shit. It wasn't that they were doing nothing and these people were stuck in a time loop. So, you know what I'm the saying? Be, the best is a woman looking in the mirror and what she does. Oh, dude, trimming yeah. trimming the fat. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. It, and then she and that, then she's fine is, at the end. And then she's fine. Well, then she, They're coming and, over and for right, dinner. Yeah. And, they, yeah. and this is the wow. thing. There's some great moments, <laughs> and I, I don't want to take away from it. There's <laughs> there fun. There's fun to be had here. It just, as a whole, I just didn't feel like everything came together. But as I whole, did though. enjoy, as a, yeah. as a whole, it just didn't get the shocker. The, uh, it's, it's a good film, but I just wanted it to be better. I wanted it to be great because the elements are there. I just felt like like the bus stuff. There is some really creepy imagery there. Oh man, with, yeah. With but, how like yeah the kids are and everything else. And, but again, that reminds me of like uh what was that? Satan slaves. Was that the one? For a couple Satan years slave, ago? the one with the kid with the dead kid at the table. Oh the, no 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 no! That's terrified. Atorados. Terrified. Yeah. Another great one. Yeah, that it's one was real good. good. I like this one just as much, and I like this one just as much as Empetigor or Empetigor. I, I, by again, Brandon helped me with one question. Empetigor. That sounds is the like the Kernak. Sounds like a skin disease. I got a little Doesn't piece it? of Empetigor. That's what it's about. That's what that's what it's based based on. Correct. Apparently, it is. So for some reason, I don't know. Ask Jerry Cortez. He 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 gave us an explanation, and ever since then, everybody's been saying it. Empetigor. You know what? I'm never gonna call it that, but only because Jerry Cortez says that's the correct word. <laughs> If anyone else said this is correct, I would have. But <laughs> even is, Jerry this. Herring, yeah, yeah, even Jerry <laughs> <Okay>. Seinfeld, <laughs> but not Jerry. Speaking of Seinfeld, there's a connection in the next movie 
to Seinfeld. But anyway, uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> check it out. One question solved. Thank you, B. Second question. I'm going to try to be as cryptic as possible. One person's motivations. All of a sudden, and it's not explained why, one person aligns themselves with another group of people yeah. seemingly for no reason. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I, I thought there was a relation there that that was maybe the, an explanation. Yeah. Maybe. But, but I can't make sense of it. I also can't make sense of why they went with the evil entity. They did. They, you know what they should have done? I like that. That's I, I don't obvious. mind, but they needed to have more back. They needed to then reveal when, when X person supposedly vanished they need to show what happened and how they studied, you know, black magic and stuff like that. There was no sort of setup. Was this person alive? Was this person dead? Really want a two-hour movie, though? No, but but it, it but, felt like a two-hour movie. Well, they it did feel that, and when they when they do say, uh, and she studied black magic, it's almost a laughable moment. Because it's like it's wedged in there to make sure that the all, everything that we're seeing in the movie yeah, but when they makes say sense. Yeah, but when movies, they say, it always happens. And, and when of... they say that, I don't mind that because they're talking about one particular character. Then it turns out to be something completely different, the reveal. So it doesn't yeah. even it, – it almost felt like uh, this is much better than that movie. But uh, Curse of Aurora, when we think one person's haunting and then we get the switcheroo and it's like writing like, who's that? It's not, it's not the little girl. This is the mother. When we did that review. But that makes sense because when we find out what we find out, it's impossible that that person would be doing that because we see, we hear about their demise. Now it just becomes a revenge tale. This person's trying to help me because of what's going on here and help other people. And what do they do to this person? They freaking end up putting an end to them and having a cover up and doing all this stuff. Well, now, fuck you. Um, Yeah, there's going to be a whole lot of revenge and I'm going to be. I'm going to turn freaking real mad because I flipped out. I, I, it's better that it's that person. I'm going to turn real mad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> uh, I, I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to, not to give anything away. I know, so, I know. Anyway, we're, 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 I have no, I have no other explanation Nobody has for the that. answer for that. I, I for thought that a relation because they kept okay. talking about that person. Like, you okay. know, she kept waiting for somebody to come back. See, that's what my wife said. She goes, she, she liked it. She was like, yeah, but she goes. The reason it makes sense is because she wanted someone to latch on to because she didn't have anyone to latch on to. So oh, therefore, yeah. it could be as simple as position. that. It could be. A, yeah. That's what she said. And I go, I don't know if it's good enough for me. I go, I go, let me sleep on it and see how I feel in the morning. And let me when when we have the discussion on this on the show, if neither of them could say anything uh, or bring something to the table to explain it, then maybe that explanation is good enough. And I guess I'm looking for too much. So. I think it's not going to affect my rating. I really enjoyed the movie. I liked I, I liked the freaking – all the stuff they did with the, with the gore scenes were top – oh, let me interrupt myself and, and throw this out there. <laughs> Jason Smith. Jason Smith. I, I, he said that this – the original film – or was it this one? Is the third in a trilogy. They yeah, say, this one's there's, the third. There's Black Magic. There's Black Magic 2, and there's this one. Yeah. So – and, and and there's and but check it out. No, it's not true. But in 1981, there was the Queen of Black Magic. So there was originally a trilogy, and this is based upon that remake from 1981. And that the, the remake, the, the, pardon me, that movie from 1981. So there was two movies called Black Magic, okay? Black Magic one and two, and then in 1981, a movie called The Queen of Black Magic, which wrapped up the trilogy. And this is a remake of that. Oh, okay. So there's actually not... three movies that that. You know, that right. pre- I said two, but all right. I just want to make sure because Jason went out of his way to, you know, to let us know. So I'm like, well, I, I have to put that out there. And do you also know, as long as I'm talking about him, remember we talked about Challenge to White Fang, the Fulci movie that the guy was complaining about? Yeah, he told me about this too, that yeah. he actually wrote, he did White Fang and White yes. Fang too. <laughs> yeah, he did both of them. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. That crazy Fulci, I tell you. And the fact that Jason went out and, and, and researched this stuff, too, it, it, it was pretty, uh, I mean, we could have all done that. But he, he he actually took the time and went back and actually checked up on it. It's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, great. I thought I, I thought I had for leaving the, the group. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't blame him. He got mad because he knew yeah. 
he knew yeah. uh, about Psycho Gorman, which I'm going to continue to, to call it that, <laughs> um, um, was going to be what it was, and I was going to have to say what I had to say about it. Because <laughs> he was spot on with with it, with his with, with the way I have a feeling it's going to go. But well, you're kind of wrong. Hit... <laughs> I'm kind of wrong. Well, you're kind... Yeah, because I know where you're going to go with it. And I think, well, um, maybe. Th- I mean, again. We'll get Sorry, you. B, we'll get... what were you about to say? I was about I to like say something. About... I thought you were about to say something if we started talking about Psycho Gorman. Oh, but... no, no. I had mentioned that I thought I had seen the. Uh... The original Queen of Black Magic, but now seeing that there's two Black Magic movies, maybe I saw one of those. I don't know. All I know I is it just it, it just <laughs> felt very convoluted. There were way too many characters, way too much going on. That by the time the reveal came, it felt a little underwhelming. I just I don't oh. know. I was just I, I I'm there with you, but I feel like I enjoyed the movie more than you. But I you always shock when you drop your ratings at the end. So. I'll say that with not knowing a hundred percent, but like, again, there, there's a, there's good here and enough to recommend the movie by far. I, I, I did enjoy it. I'm just trying to nitpick as to like, again, I wish I don't hear the hype and I just go to a movie blind. Cause I don't see this <laughs> top 10 esque quality to it. I, see, think I didn't it, even it know was, people thought like that. It was I think good. I, I think I'm in the minority for for not loving it the way other people are. Yeah, I and, like... and I think you are, but I think it was good, and I have no interest to see it again. Done. Wow. I won't I'm rewatch definitely... this at the end of the year. Yeah. I'm gonna oh. have to watch it at the rewatch it at the end of the year. Remember, we're gonna give head ratings tonight too, by the way. But this is what yeah. I'm loving. This reminds me a little bit of that movie, May the Devil Take You Too. It took place at an orphanage, and all hell broke loose in the third act, and all kinds of stuff was happening. But I prefer the gore and the kills in this movie to some of the stuff in that when uh, the freaking, you know, we have the, uh, the, what do you call it? The trimming, the fat scene. We have the, the, the centipedia scene. We have the freaking, the caterpillar. Scene. <laughs> that, part, <laughs> that part was so funny with the caterpillars though, because <laughs> of the translation, which sometimes makes me laugh, but literally his words were, you're eating caterpillars. They are poisonous. <laughs> I think it's so funny when he says that to her. They are poisonous. <laughs> She's eating like a thousand of them too. Dude, it was great. I love that stuff. And the freaking and the and the um the shut your mouth scene. I'll leave it at that. You know what I'm talking about? But the, you know, someone having oh, dude, those things were great. And and the and the girl's arm with the stuff and the the gore. And then towards the end, when all hell's breaking loose and the kids are being like abused by this unknown entity and you just see the the effects of what it's doing to them yeah the Man. different the different rooms of torment are pretty cool yeah. the hot the hot water one was <gasps> and then whole story about her and why so then, oh yeah. dude so then the, she, the 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 whole reasoning behind why that's happening is just because they're there and it's evil and we need to have 16 characters that could do that because then if it was really revenge. about revenge wouldn't it be just on the the guys no, because what's the worst kind of revenge? If somebody wants to fuck with you, what's the worst way they're going to do? They're going to kill you or they're going to fucking torture your kids? Oh, you, you, that's true. That's true. Then they should have done more of it because it seemed like a little light more. in that regard. Yeah. Well, it's they true, wanted to kill all... everybody off. Their wives, their kids, everybody. That was the plan. We're going to fucking kill No one ends up... How many people die at the end of it, though? Like, for, for some of that, it's that evil. There are a shit ton of survivors. I think, You're two, right. people, There's no reason. I think two people died. You're right. There is no reason because things that happened to them were enough to kill them. You're right. I'll meet you on that. I guess they wanted to go with the Disney ending. You're right. But I'll I'll say this: as much as I can't argue the fact that that fucking with the family is the ultimate revenge and the ultimate creation of hell for these people who did wrong, it just seems it seems like that's not the way to go. Given how dark the reveal is as to what happened and why these souls were tormented in the first place. You know, with the pictures and all that. I mean, it's really she dark. goes heel. They I go know, heel. I mean, they're, they're mad, but it happens to anybody. So you you have you have a better. It would be better for you if if the person was evil to begin with than just somebody who may have not been evil and then been wronged and then got so pissed off that inner evil that was in them came out and they freaking went. I like that more. That aspect. When I like a little sense of control. Nuts. Yeah, but when, then you don't have a movie. No, when it's full out evil, it's almost less scary than when it's more calculated. I think. 
So the Evil Dead is less scary when it's full out evil. In well, evil, De- evil Dead's a comedy, remember? Oh, st- <laughs> <laughs> or any supernatural movie where it's just evil from the start. I, I, you know, I resonate more with somebody who is a regular person and then they're wronged and then you see that inner demon come out and then they they completely flip as a person because it does happen in real life. People snap and then they kill innocents as a result and it's sad, but it happens. Look at serial killers. Look at the history of them. A lot of them end up doing things. They weren't born that way. They, they A couple of things happened in their past that turned them into this freaking monster and then they had no remorse for anybody because they were wrong. And it's something obviously wrong in their brain, but I mean, I don't know. I kind of like that, but that's just my personal taste. It's just, it it's seems not, more... it's not bad. I'm I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like I don't know a little all over. Well, I'm telling you, I I think the movie just came down for me. No, <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do no, that. No, 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 no. Because of what you said. Because we had all those great gore scenes and all that great stuff happened, and at the end they didn't even die. What kind of shit's that? <laughs> they should definitely be dead. There's Why a lot. There's a lot of, of carnage. There's the girl, the girl, her, her burns on her face. Her burns on her face are worse at the end. So I'm oh, assuming we every... spoiled it. But I, we <laughs> shouldn't have said that that they didn't actually die. Oh uh, well. Oh, I don't think so. I guess it's not a huge thing, but for someone like me who listens to podcasts, I don't want to know that information. Uh, it's not even that big. It's kind of like thrown in at the end. People oh, should watch the movies someone... before they listen to a yeah. podcast. To be I'm honest, I I hate dancing around the spoiler thing. I've always have, as as you could tell, I really disregard it, and not because I have no. Uh, thought for the the listener, it's just I can't talk about a movie without just jumping all over and, and saying I didn't mention shit about any, the movie. I didn't mention any characters' yeah. names except for the husband and wife, Hanif and Nadia. But I I knew all the characters. I, I didn't want to talk about because I didn't want to spoil. <laughs> yeah, Jeff and Lena. Lena's the one who trims the fat, and then you got Anton and Eva, who are just like extra characters in there. Yeah, yeah, but the cool stuff happens. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I thought th- I, I don't want to say a anything. human centipede. Yeah, a human centipede and a human caterpillar. It's great. <laughs> Those centipedes are are a good freaking thing. Even when they go to the uh, what do you call it? When they go to the bus and they see the dead body the first time and freaking for no reason centipedes are calling. Ooh, yeah, that freaking skeeves me out. But just because it's centipedes, what are they doing there? I don't know. It's just I don't know. Something about centipedes. They must be very big gross. in Indonesia. And then, then what happens with them? And this is something I've always talked about, but I don't want to spoil it, where what happens later in, in, in centipedes coming out? I don't know. It's just, dude, I don't know. I guess centipedes like that, stuff like that resonates with me. The human Maybe millipede. Maybe we should go back. The human millipede. <laughs> the human. Wasn't there a human caterpillar? Yeah, there was. Remember in part three? Maybe cut all their legs off or something, or, or, or were they little people or something? Remember? And he goes, the human caterpillar. He said they were working on it. <laughs> I vaguely remember part three. It was so bad. Oh, yeah, it's fun. fucking. See, dreadful. now that's a fun horror movie. See, that isn't that? Uh, no, 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 no. That was on my bottom five. That's a piece of trash. Oh, I laughed <laughs> so much. I, I, I laughed the first 30 minutes more than any other <laughs> horror movie. Uh, in like Absolute movie. piece of trash. Uh, I'm laughing that Dave's laughing, but I'm with Christian more on this one. I just, I hated that. Part two I liked. Part two was very just nasty and grindhouse. Do you guys think we should go back to the old way where we just save spoiler talk for the end? Like we just talk about the movie and then is there a way we could do that or is that just too much? I think we should just tell our listeners not to listen to reviews of movies they haven't seen. (laughs) <laughs> or do it both ways. Or do it both ways. Talk about it like, like they... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what they do on Fresh Cuts? On Fresh Cuts, they come out, they be us for for 15 minutes, they get their general thoughts, then they go into story time with Venom, and, and you get every freaking single detail. So story that's... time with Venom. <laughs> is, that, is that when Mike takes his nap? Probably, because no one... it's, it's the only podcast in the world where, where there's three hosts and for 30 minutes, only one person talks. See, now, if Venom told me how to uh, how to uh, pronounce Impetigore correctly, I would listen. But if Jerry Cortez did, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Jekyll and Hyde, huh? <laughs> anyway, that's a, well, I guess we'll continue to do it. And, hey, guys, listen, that's the way it's going to be. Maybe, again, we'll save this, which we kind of did. We'll save the general stuff for the beginning and... The stuff that's a little more spoilery for 
the second half, I guess. I don't know. It's a work I just, in progress. I just left names out, so people are going to be like, wait, who, who are they talking Fuck about? Fuck names. Who even knows their names in this? I don't know their names. I watched the whole thing. I know everyone's <laughs> name, and I have questions You can about... remember names like that. They're not like Bob and Joe and Bruce. They're fucking Jeff and, and, and Lynn and, and Tim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, just, they're, they're, you just said they're not Bob, Bruce. They're Jeff and Lynn. Like, it might as well. Why did you use the two? Why did you use the two names that actually are American names? Because they're the only ones I remembered. That's why. And that's why. L I N Lynn J E F J. Oh shit. Okay, hockey. I remember that name because hockey puck. You know, H A K I, and I don't know the rest of the names. I just don't. It's inconsequential. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it's right. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's weird. I was. When I came into this review, I actually thought I was at the what would be the low end of a, a half head based on the range. But <laughs> as I heard myself talk and as we're discussing it, I'd say like, no, I probably fit more into that high end of the mild rumble. So I'm going to stick with that high end of a mild rumble. Mild rumble <laughs> for me, too. Wow. Well, I was going to be a whole head, a full head. But just because of what what, what we brought up. It, it just brought it down to a half head. So. Uh, well, I feel kind of bad about that because I do not like doing that by any means. I love I, it. I, when I was, I was hearing myself talk, I'm like, well, like, really, I, I, I still say check it out. There's a lot of good stuff out here. And there's a lot of people that love it. So check it out for yourselves. It's on Shutter now, and and it, hopefully you'll enjoy it. There's some really cool gore and, and great things to be had. It just overall... Oh, yeah. Some of that CGI. Oof. It wasn't bad. I don't know why you're ragging on it. It was I just fine. I didn't love it. It's very, I don't know. It looked very I didn't cartoony. love it. Eh. That Freddy 3 scene coming through the TV. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Anyway. Yeah, Welcome um... to prime time. <laughs> <laughs> Mama mia. So that, and, and I'll tell you this: at least this is a horror movie. Nobody can tell me it's not. Oh, this is a straight up horror movie. This is straight, straight up, up French horror. What I like? No, it's not. Don't <laughs> even, that's what bothers me is that when a movie is a straight up horror movie and someone calls it fringe, then then you get the other side of the equation. It's not a horror at all, and people are calling it horror. I'm like, what the? F-? People are getting. They, it's so weird the way we interpret it these days. It it, it really is. Gone are the days of the VHS. Walk in the horror section, and the movie you pick up, you know it's a horror movie. That's it. Yeah, but okay, then where would Psycho Goreman fit? And I'm not, I know not we're, we're not talking about it yet. It would be in that section. It definitely would be in that section because of the gore content, for sure. It would not be in any other section in, in the in a video store. It wouldn't be just at like a video store. Avenger would have been in horror, just like that. And it, in, or Avenger class is new a horror movie. movie. And so Psycho Goreman in that same realm. Well, it's a sci-fi. I don't it's like a the map- way you guys are saying Gore Man, like he's <laughs> like that's he's how a, it's spelled. Like he's a, an accountant or something. <laughs> I gotta go see my accountant, Gorman. Psycho Gore Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to say. Anyway, we'll get to that after. We'll get it's to that, that. It's that hard R in Gore Man. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho Gorman. It just it just flows that way. When I see the word, that's the way, that's the way I saw it. Then I watch the movie. I'm like, oh, Gore Man. Okay. All right. I get why. I just, I don't know. Gorman sounds like a name. Gorman. It's better than Gordon. Right? Come here, Gorman. Come here, Gorman. Come here, boy. <laughs> wow. I could see that building. I get to that point. Because I think, uh, you did, Dave, did you just not say it's better than Gordon? Or is it better than whatever? And then he, uh, anyway. he did. He did. Perfect. <laughs> the thing is, Psycho Gorman should have jumped out a window. I wonder if he would have survived. He should have attempted suicide and jumped out a window at one point in that movie. I don't get my thing back, my gem. This is too much for me. <laughs> yeah, my, my gem of paraxidice. <laughs> well, let's wait on that. What do we want to talk about next? <sighs> Would you say, didn't you say you had Fangoria's? Well, I want to talk. Like, forget Fangoria's. Okay. VHS. There was something <laughs> mentioned. Whether no, it was no, last episode start. or the episode before. Well, hold on. There was something mentioned when you mentioned that you were really, you, you've changed your opinion on VHS, the VHS community and, and everything else. And I went, yeah. And I actually, I feel like I stopped myself halfway through because I'm like, 
I don't know if I gr- agree yet. And then thankfully, I will say, I wholeheartedly disagree. Most, most, and again, it's always the most vocal are right. fucking assholes. And I fucking can't stand VHS collectors now. <laughs> fuck you. I'm a Christian. It's just a certain... No, go ahead. No, Lee, but they're, they're, the, the, they're the vocal minority. Even if they're the minority, they now have the biggest fucking voice. So they piss me off. So fuck you. Fuck the whole community. I fuck. call them VH <laughs> assholes. Yeah. <laughs> it's really just a few of the guys there. The rest of them that I've, that I've bought from and talked to and had conversations. As a matter of fact, some of the guys that I bought from, I told them. In the conversation, I don't even watch them. I don't even care about the videotape. If it's this, I'll buy the box, this and that. And, and, and then I told them about my, my display, and they'll say, oh, you got pictures of it? And I keep telling them, well, when I'm done, I have a few things going on uh, in my room in general. I'm going to put out a new video, and I'll show you that. He goes, I, I, and I said, people want to see it. These guys are fine. They have no problem that I don't watch the movies. That's And that's most of the people that I've dealt with. However, there are a couple of loud mouths like there is anywhere in any community and they are on their high horse, and this is what happened. So this is the funny thing. You only know half the story. You don't know how it started. Um, it, it started the night before, see? Yeah. Oh, no, I saw that. I saw that. I just didn't feel I didn't feel passionate enough to comment at that point. It was when they decided to take a pic of your post and post it in another uh, section right. of commenting that I came across. Then I'm like, what the fuck is your problem with my buddy Dave collecting VHS that he just simply said he wanted it for the box art for nostalgia? You weren't destroying the tapes, but they were adamant that you were destroying the fucking tapes, right. and it made me mad. It made me so fucking mad that I just went on like, and I did. I I went light because I'm like, who the fuck? The guy that was arguing with me, the fucking mustache on this fucking guy is enough. Like, I'm surprised he didn't break his neck falling back. The fucking thing is like the biggest thing ever. Sam Elliott would be fucking jealous of this thing. Once again, I'm, I'm happy with my behavior. I did not argue. I remained calm and cool and complimentary and just stated my case. No matter what people fired at me, I did not fire back because that's the person I am now. Once upon a time, I've been tested three or four times since I said I'm not going to argue anymore, and I will not. I just I have no desire to. I'm just here to have fun. And if somebody wants to say I don't like the way you're having fun, well, that's your opinion. I don't. That's fine. I find it funny, and luckily I can talk about it here with you guys. And and Christian's going to get all gets all hot and bothered by it, which is great. You know? left. <laughs> He's, He's so here. mad. <laughs> he can't even talk about it. He's like, I can't go down this road, damn it. I can't do it. I'm going to rupture a blood vessel. <laughs> Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? It's, it's, it's another Sunday morning antic situation. Right. Maybe he got wrenched. Who knows? Uh, I, did, I did get wrenched. See? It's it's always wrenched. something here. See, fine. see, B, see how lucky you are. You're not going to get wrenched. Does your father ever wrench you? Is my question. No. Okay, I, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I was fighting your fight, but it pissed me off. It pissed me off because they screenshotted the shot, like I said earlier, and I'm yeah. like, what? Like, why does this bother you? And then the guy was like, because you sh- you're shitting on things that we actually collect, and you're talking about like I, I collected and he's like, oh, well, VHS is like a limited. There's a limited supply, and and you and you don't have any respect for it. And I'm like, you fucking asshole. He never said anything about this. He has the tapes. They're displayed with them. What the fuck is the argument here? Right. You're right. And they made an <laughs> apparently. I'm the butt of a joke to a few of these people, and I can live with that. It's fine. But this, the night before, this is what happened. Somebody put up a picture of Microwave Massacre, that that turd, okay? Which, that's okay if you like it. That's just my opinion, whatever. I mean, But somebody put up a picture of Microwave Massacre, the box, the VHS, this and that. And I, I would like that box because that is the first movie I ever rented. Microwave Massacre and Nail Gun Massacre were the first two movies I rented when my parents gave me my own card. So I have nostalgia for those two. And the boxes are kind of funny. They're cool. So, But anyway, somebody put up a picture and said, is this worth $30? So I don't know what other people were saying, but I did say something. I said, very bad movie. I rented it back when it first dropped in the Golden Age. It's barely worth 30 cents to me, but that's just... (laughs) 
one man's opinion, LOL. That's all I said. Yeah. I didn't hear an idiot for this and a terrible movie. I just said, that's just one man's opinion, LOL. That is it. I keep it lighthearted. You should now, have said one person in this day and age, Dave. That, there was your problem. Oh, I'll bet you're right. <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> so now, this is the funniest thing of all. Somebody comes back and says this. This Corey guy says, you buy tapes based off of the actual quality and content of the movie? Question mark. This is very confusing, and I question why you are in this group. I know. <laughs> Fucking weird. And you get that comment there, but then you, you make the fact you're like, hey, I just collect the, 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 the art, and then you get shit on for that? I think Corey has been inhaling too much mold from sniffing fucking tapes because he sounds like a fucking moron in that post. And I think you should give out his last name and this should get back to him. Oh, and he should know, know he's a moron. Levi's is what he's we're going to call him. Him and uh, the other. That's the worst guy. That's the guy with the fuck. And then again, I yes, I know I'm a dick because I'm actually just attacking him for this this handlebar mustache that he's had. But if you can't, if you look at the picture, you can't. If you're not Unless laughing. he's a fucking strong man in a fucking circus, <laughs> he should have a fucking handlebar mustache. <laughs> and, and it's like, I collect them for the artwork or throw the tapes away, which was a jab at, at yeah. Dave, but he, he left names out. He left names out, and then at, and Anthony uh, then responded with the screenshot of Dave's post, which I happened to come across totally innocently because I was just looking for fucking tapes and, and whatever, and, and I saw this. And again, because it's Dave, it pissed me off. It would have pissed me off if it was Brandon. It would have pissed me off if it was idiot. If it was me, I would have been even more mad. I warned you about these people months I and months did. ago. Stay I away from these toxic it. assholes. Yeah, but this is funny. I'm it's not mad funny. about it. That's I'm what I'm mad, saying. I'm this mad about it because these people genuinely are are like obsessed and genuinely believe and are laughing at this. Yeah, but it's funny to me. I pity them. I have no anger. I, I pity them, if anything. That's how, It's the same way I feel about people that are deep into politics and live their life around that. I have no anger. There was a time when I, I, I would weigh in and I was angry about it. I'm like, what are you doing with your life? But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm living my life the way I enjoy it. And if they want to do that, if it makes them happy, but I don't think it does, not, that's why I say I pity them. I, not, I, I really not, do. not to get political, but I think we should build a wall of VHS tapes around all these fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said I wanted to start like a Gallagher channel on YouTube of just me buying VHS tapes and smashing them with a mallet. I think that channel would be huge. You know what? Uh, I would give all the Patreon money to buy the rarest ones where there's only one copy left and then post the video right in. Be like, this is the last copy of fucking Microwave Massacre, you prick. You yeah. should. See, that, that wouldn't bother me. I just don't want any part of it. But if you guys did it, I'd love it. And instead of Leroy Jenkins, he'll be, let me <laughs> we would people would get on it who knows maybe see maybe i'll send all my video tape to you and you can do it but anyway that's just the first comment and how funny is that this Corey, Wait. you buy tapes bought based off the actual quality and content of the movie that's very confusing and i question why you're in this group who wouldn't who would buy a physical media Based off anything except the quality of the movie, if you're gonna watch the movie. Plus, you weren't even saying that. You were, I mean, you were just kind of commenting on on the movie because you know that these people collect them and watch them. No, but you're no, the but, one who collects but, them and doesn't watch them. Th this is right. the problem. There is a there is a disconnect. There are some of them that are collecting them because they know that they're they're limited, they're scarce, and and they're buying them for the the fact that that they're, they're they could probably turn a profit or or make money from them. The fact that there's even this demographic of people that want them, like I admit, I, I, I got the full That's it, though. I'm gonna get the full series of that. That's it. That's well, it. Who cares? I have collect what you want to collect. Salute. That's exactly it. I, 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 and the only reason I'm pissed off is because of the attitude that they're taking and the fact that they came down on you and you weren't even doing anything, but they're making it sound like you were Gallaghering the tapes. So, in which case, I'm gonna Gallagher the fucking tapes. You, you've got fucking Beethoven. How's it smell? <laughs> Oh, does it smell like a dog or a tape? It smells or like nothing. a cut box. <laughs> <laughs> it's I can't so live my so <laughs> then this, then this son of a bitch. This is the guy that really bothers me because he's the antagonist. He keeps quoting me. This, this Anthony guy comes in, and he, he says this. And again, I thought he was just joking, and I didn't care. I, I even responded with a, with a laughing emoji. He just said. What the actual fuck am I reading here? You don't even watch the movies? LOL, amazing. That's what he said. I said, no, man. Matter of fact, I would sell everyone that I have. 
almost 150 of them. I just want the boxes. I have a mock video store in my basement, like the one I spent a lot of my childhood in, and that's what makes me happy. I have all of my favorite kick-ass covers from those <laughs> days. Believe me, if people wanted to give me $5 for every tape I own without the box, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Wait, you spent your childhood this in a the- mock video store? <laughs> <laughs> this is the post that DGN gave. This is the post that DGN. I know where you're coming from. And, and again, who gives a fuck? But did, this is the post that they just fucking latched onto. And but I was trying to old. help them. Say, hey, you want to take five bucks? Bargain basement prices for the people like that. I'll sell them to you. I was trying. It was a gesture of goodwill. I, from I, I know. City. I know. I, but but you might as well have just slapped them with your seven and a half inch cock. It was. <laughs> they. It was the. <laughs> it was the post that fucked you. And I'm not agreed with it. I'm just saying that for some reason, that's the one that was that broke the, the straw on the camel's back or whatever the fuck the saying is. The right, straw that right. broke the camel's back. Yeah, so thank now, you, sir. Again, this son of a bitch, and I thought this was going to be the end of it. It's this Anthony guy again. This is what he says that again. This is absolutely some of the weirdest shit I have ever seen commented in this group in the years I've been on here. Congratulations. Oh, I'm speechless, he says. And I gave him yeah. a laughing emoji. Again, it doesn't seem like he's angry. He says that's weird and whatever. You do you, but to me it's fucked up. And then, but he was I didn't take it as antagonistic still. So I said, maybe so, but I can live with that. I have a lot of people who actually dig my video store setup. It's cool for us. I would rather watch Blu-rays personally, but the old VHS boxes with the great cover art is a big part of a lot of my generation's childhood. It's all about nostalgia. And that's what I said. And then a couple more things happen. <laughs> and then this J guy says, yeah, man, but I hope you really wouldn't ruin all the tapes by separating them from their sleeves like that for no oh reason. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking. Like, like a parent and his child, you know, yeah. like an immigrant parent. Don't don't separate them from that. <laughs> Fucking. I'm going to separate them on principle now. That's it. They're all been separated. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> they do that anyway. They don't care. Yeah. They all put them sideways. He's fucking so <laughs> Then this Levi okay. with his stash. That's the guy. Okay. This is the guy. This is the first time he, he weighs in. He says, dude, why even bother buying any tapes then? And not just make your own slips if you're just using them as props anyway. I see you all up in the fire sales claiming tapes that people would otherwise be able to get enjoyment out of viewing. Okay? They're chuds. These people are chuds. They fucking bud the chuds. (laughs) 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 And now this guy comes in, this Dave guy says, no, the only reason I'm a member of this VHS groups is for the artwork on display. Could care less for the hipster movement that doesn't seem to appreciate the work that goes into remastering for DVD and Blu-ray. Just wish the DVD and Blu-ray of distributors appreciated the amazing artwork that went with the movies they put out. So I, I don't know if he was being genuine when he said that or not, but it sounds like he was. I thought maybe that sounds genuine to me. Right, but, yeah. and that's good. So someone else feels that way. Yeah. So then I feel this like most guy normal people Jeremy. should feel that way. This guy comes exactly. Then this guy comes in and says, "Jesus f in Christ." These posts and comments lately. By the way, post a tape sometime. And then Anthony comes in. Yup, absolutely awful. And then. I don't know. I, I can't I, wait to start the Gallagher on. channel. I, I, I want to start it now. I want to get off this fucking show and just start smashing VHS tapes. Ad nauseum. Like anything Anthony, that gets in my way. And then, then Christian comes in. Anthony, don't know why you have a problem with this. VHS is all about nostalgia. If you even try to argue about superior quality, I'll break through the closed borders and laugh in your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Then Anthony says, Christian, of course, it's partly about nostalgia, but not all about in caps. Stay in Canada and eat your poteen and frig off. Poutine, yeah. Frig off. And then you said, you guys are fucking insane. This is the best of all. I'm taking a giant magnet to all my VHS tapes. <laughs> I was pissed. It just went downhill from there. I'm not, I'm not happy about it, but fuck them. Fuck them. Right, right. And then Anthony there. comes back. I didn't delete Christian, anything. Why are you directing this at me? There's plenty of us making a joke about it. It's really not plenty. Yeah. It's really three fucking guys. It was three so or four started. people. It's him who instigated yeah. it. Yeah. He's but the I, mean, I actually, I actually asked 
why he had a problem with it. It started innocently. I'm like, why are you posting my buddy's post, taking a snapshot of it and posting it here? Wh- why you're you're fueling the fire, in my opinion. And so I, I you know, I threw it back at him. And now I'm going to start the Gallagher page. I don't care. Uh, So I've got to get people send me VHS tapes. But the reality is we're going to I got to wait till the flea markets open up again. Everything opens up here. Then I'll go buy whatever. I don't really give a shit. We'll start with like El Cheapos and we'll just start smashing them. I even have a good name. Exploding Heads presents Exploding Tapes. It'd be fucking great. Yeah. And then we'll put slow motion. So, So then I weighed in with Anthony. I said, dude, why is that a big deal to you? Why do you care what I do with my money? And then he comes back with this, Anthony. Dave Z, because you are destroying everything that the rest of us actually enjoy in here. The actual movie stored on those tapes. And then Levi says, probably because it's dumb, so you're getting roasted for it. So apparently I'm the dummy. For you you, But you still, you haven't done anything. But no. you made a post saying that you would sell them because you don't really care about the tapes themselves, that you would sell them, and that's what's bugging them out but you haven't actually done anything you haven't destroyed a fuck i'm gonna destroy the shit i'm gonna fucking destroy it and i'm gonna have a big giddy fucking smile on my face well that's why they're hypocrites here's why they're hypocrites though because you offered to sell them the tapes and they won't bite you know why because they want the vhs art art with it you're right it's not official to them without you're right they want the art so fuck them they They don't want to separate mother from child you know that it's a big fucking thing with them oh my god it's like a foreign policy I'm not even in these fucking groups, and I'm angry. I said it. I said it for a long time. I should have just listened to you. They're the weirdest people on earth, these VHS-sniffing motherfuckers. They're (laughs) very strange people. I see the videos pop up on my Facebook video feed all the time. And I watch them, and I'm like, this guy's a fucking serial killer. (laughs) I I don't want to say that about Levi. (laughs) <laughs> so I Levi, won't. Levi, <laughs> stick with the jeans and forget about the VHS tapes. And invest in a razor, you fucking handlebar mustache motherfucker. Amazing. <laughs> I, Amazing. it's actually it's a pretty cool mustache if I have to say so. But it looks like it just weighs him the fuck down. If- <laughs> It'll be like <laughs> Sim- Sam. <laughs> 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 You're gonna have an aneurysm. Stop. It's, it's gonna burst the fucking. Pl- <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, okay. So then I, I wrap it up with this. I go, listen, I'm very serious about my hobbies. And then I said, well, maybe not. Hobbies aren't really meant to be serious or taken seriously. They're about passing the time, not filling it. Which is a, you know, who said that? Hobbies are meant to pass Precious. the time, not fill it. <laughs> you don't know it's your favorite movie. See. And I got it from my fortune cookie. Confucius. <laughs> that was funny. Confucius. Confucius say, hobbies are not about passing the time. Or not, not about filling. God. <laughs> Confucius, don't let me down. It's from his favorite Did you movie? know who said that, though? In that conversation, he says, hobbies are meant to, are meant to pass the time, not fill it. It's your favorite movie, see? Hobbies are not... Well, that's why I quoted it. It's a famous horror movie and a line that I've always liked. Dawn of the Dead? Nope. Why, why am I not? Hobbies are meant. Remember? It's okay. Familiar, obviously, but. Okay. I can't... They're talking about the stuffed birds. It's fucking psycho. <sighs> it's, the, it's the conversation between him and Marion Crane in the back room. You know? Yeah. You know what's crazy that you brought up Psycho? I just watched a documentary last night on taxidermy. Called Psycho Gorman? No, on taxidermy. <laughs> about oh, like yeah? one of the one of the country's best taxidermists, and he was doing like uh he was doing some he amazing work. He was doing some amazing work. No, but he actually talked about how a lot of people get a bad rep in the community because of Psycho. Oh yeah, I could. Because of Psycho. They said that really hurt a lot of the taxidermy community. Well, were they asking to have their mom stuffed? <laughs> <laughs> I tell them, I'll stuff your mom for free. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> She's as harmful hurt. as one of those stuffed birds. She wants or 10 harm. inches? Uh, tell her to come see me twice. Hey. <laughs> I also came across, I lucked out, but I, I wish I was 45 minutes earlier. 
Uh, another guy, what, what seems to be happening with the CEDs, sorry, I just hit my mic, but the CEDs <laughs> is that they're finding them at in-laws places. Now, unfortunately, the in-laws have passed away, but they've got these mass collections of CEDs. So they don't know what the fuck they're doing and they don't care. And they start selling them on Facebook on like uh, the marketplace. And so this guy posted, goes a hundred movies. And I always look and he had Friday 13th. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I went down to the comments right away. There's only three comments. One guy said, I'll take Reese and Friday the 13th. Like, damn it. And then I I went for five bucks. So US. And then I went back up into the post. I saw he had Friday the 13th part two as well. So I'm like, as long as you're going to ship to Canada, Friday the 13th part two, I'll take it. And for five bucks. Now, the guy doesn't know anything about shipping. He's new to this whole thing. There's been no response other than he responded to one guy saying, I'm just new to this. I really don't know what the church are shipping. So I told him I paid 11 bucks US for my 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 um, Friday 13th one. Like I paid more for the CED, but the shipping was only eleven dollars US. So, but I'm like, if he doesn't want to ship to Canada, I'll have him ship it to you, Dave. But he hasn't responded yet, so I just want to make sure I get it. I'm just so mad because I could have had both part one and two for ten bucks. Write him oh, back. Tell him you don't man. really want it. You don't really want to separate part one from its part two, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, if someone would claim part one. I won't be a dick about don't, it. But don't be a I Levi. Don't want that part two. Don't be a I fucking Levi. <laughs> I saw one the other day. I love it. I saw one the other day. But it was like twenty or thirty dollars for a Friday. Oh no, on eBay, eBay part one is all once you do the conversion, it's like twenty four bucks US. It's about thirty one bucks Canadian. That's what are they called again? Thirty one to thirty. This was the Facebook marketplace. Okay. This was the Facebook marketplace. I saw one the other day and I was gonna tell you, but I thought you said you already had part one and I didn't know if you wanted to spend that kind of money either. So I didn't Well, uh, I mean when you luck out and someone's selling them for five so the one guy was selling them for twenty bucks and I would have had one and four, but I was too late to the game for that one. So then this guy, I could have gotten one and two, was a little late for one, but I've I've secured two, but he hasn't responded to anything here yet. And that's the great way to get them. If you could get them for five bucks and some good shipping, they're perfect. Like, that's why I'm so mad that I, 45 minutes, I was like, I just happened to, because I was, I check periodically throughout the night, and, and I just missed it by 45 minutes, uh, I could have gotten both of them. This guy here apparently is selling four, uh, for $40, he's selling this whole stack of them, but I don't know what they are, it's on Marketplace, and it looks like to be like 30 movies. But well, then, I al- then I always zoom in, uh, check the titles, or I'll just message them. I'll say, hey, or I guess there's one person in like, uh, drivable distance that was selling like, a hundred and like it was a hundred for like it was a really ridiculous price and i was like maybe i'll just take them and and start trying to resell them but i'm like i don't want to get into that i don't want to get into the headaches of 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 reselling them and then i'm stocking uh shit in my basement that my wife doesn't want you could uh smash them on planet ced horror (laughs) oh see i respect that group of people for for a, a format that i didn't know existed a month ago that group has all been nice so, one more movie, folks. One more movie. Mr. Psycho Goreman. <laughs> Written and directed this... by Stephen Kostansky. Is that the relation to Seinfeld? Kostansky? Costanza? No, no, it's a character, and it's probably <laughs> not them at all, but it re- they had the same name they had in Seinfeld, and it looked just like her, but I'll get to it when oh, it was okay. bugging me for so long. Then at the end, I'm like, oh, that's what I was thinking of. And no, no. this is the guy, this is the guy who did the uh, the void, and but he also did uh, Father's Day, and uh, oh, it's Astron Six. Yeah, yeah, makes sense because I've heard all all those other ones except the void. I mean, I I did like what do you call it? Um, uh, the editor, you know, for the most part. Yeah. You know, but I heard the other ones were much more comical, like like Father's Day and something uh, else. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, uh, that was a, little, a lot more silly. I forgot what else he did. Manborg. Like that. Man Borg was the other one I remember, yeah. yeah. I don't think I could watch that. After unearthing a gem that controls an evil monster looking to destroy the universe, a young girl and her brother use it to make him do their bidding. Okay, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of a uh, Japanese splatter film. It's just what yeah. it is. You ever see those weird... MacGyver. Fucking... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. MacGyver. The Giver. Yeah, a oh. lot of people. A lot of people are comparing it to the guy. For I don't know what that is, but the, I saw. I've seen a couple of my day not knowing the title. One I watched for um, 
for the summer series. I forgot what it was called. Oh man. I don't know. It was something in in two, from between 2000 and, and 2009. I don't know. I just I, I watched one of those, and that's what it reminded me of. The, these weird looking things happening, and in good gore sometimes, but weird gore other times. And yeah, like the fighting. space gore with like the you know the quick like video game like explosions. Yeah, it's like, like an American true. version. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's video game explosion. Yeah. This is like one of those movies to me, which yeah. they're just like fighting. Like the only difference between this and like, um, what the hell was that one movie? Ah, Psycho Doorman. It'll come up later. But it just reminded me of, um, damn it, there's another movie that came out recently that had all this stuff, like an adventure type thing. Oh, okay. Uh, that speed racer thing. What the hell is that? Um, not speed racer. Turbo Kid. This is like Turbo Kid with more gore, and that wasn't a horror movie, and neither is this. And I'm not knocking it because it's not a horror movie. But at the end, I asked myself that. I'm like, well, I don't know. Is that a horror movie? How, what was horrific about it? I mean, it I, I think this is more of a horror movie than Turbo Kid is. But I like yeah. Turbo Kid a lot better than I like this. I see. I really like this. This reminded me of the Toxic Avenger. I brought it up earlier. It's a fun, enjoyable movie. It's. Uh oh. I'm not going to say it by any means. I thought it lagged a bit. No, it's not a 10 out of 10, Brandon, if that's what you're uh oh. <laughs> but the father in this movie, almost every line he uttered had me laughing. Oh, I, I hate was laughing. The father you hated? Um, with I Dave. liked him. I him. Hold on, hold on. I liked the father only in the third act when the, the lazy stuff started. Everything before that, he was just weird for the sake of being weird for no fucking reason. I did. See, I, didn't I thought that him. about the daughter. I, I the oh, daughter was the hardest too. character for me to get into. To be honest, I thought I she was her. just not the right actress for it. Honestly, all I the know, co- I thought she did great performance wise, but her character at first, I thought she was snarky and this and that. And I developed, uh, uh, you know, I liked her character, when but the longer it went on. Parents, when she dismisses her parents, it's creepy ball. It's creepy ball. That's, that's, crazy that, ball. That, that's Smith. fun. Dismiss. Yes, that was fun. I liked that about her. She was good in the first like act, but the longer it went on, I t- I just thought she became a piece of shit, and I fucking well, turned that. Move. That's his movie. I was this totally movie. opposite. I hated her at the beginning no. and liked her at the end. I 100% <laughs> agree with Dave. This movie overstayed its welcome. This movie would have been better as a as a 35 minute film. That's that's my take on it. The father, one line in the film I laughed at. Everything else I thought was horrible. The only when he when his hand when he hurt his hand, and he's like, it hurts so bad. Don't even look at it. It hurts. That was, that was, that was my lucky bat was fucking classic when she fights the monster and breaks the bat and he runs out and yells my lucky bat that is fucking Sin Sims level co- that's like my cans my antique cans it's so genius comedy and I know the reason why I know that this is the movie that my buddy and I would have wrote in high school we didn't but we well actually we did write a script called Man Alive and this is the type of comedy that is right from that the lucky bat line the you're you're welcome with the tears coming out of his eyes it's gold comedy to me I love that comedy <laughs> I guess that's 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 our, our, our where we differ I, I just I again, they had such good gore, and the plot was fine. Imagine if they made this exact movie without any comedy. I, and I, I could see why people do love it. I could see why people would be into it because all the different things and the references and there's some deep cuts and it's it's unusual. It's an odd duck. Like th- this is an odd duck. The way, um, what's that friggin' movie? The Greasy Strangler is. But I definitely like this better than the Greasy Strangler. There's no question. It's an odd movie. Yeah. This was fun and made me laugh almost throughout. <laughs> but it is, I will agree that again, the the ongoing critique is that we've been saying the movie runs too long. It it is a little too long for its own good. It's, uh, but I don't think thirty five minutes. I, I think it would have been film. maybe it's an hour twenty. Film. I think it's a short film. I think I, there's no sort of change from the way these characters are presented to where it goes. There's no sort of like. There's no sort of growth in these characters. They're all the same at the beginning, at the end, and that's what's annoying about it. Yes, like, for the most is, part, you're for the most part, you're correct. I mean, I, they do they do 
play with the fact that the, the marriage is, is suffering and and you kind of feel like it might be redeemed at the end for whatever reason no. because you went through this t- this together but I get it but I don't think the movie's about that that's like saying the characters are no different at the end of the Toxic Avenger it's a different type of movie and you're going to be either be along for the ride or you're just not going to be true but with that said the gore is very off at times very sometimes awful. most of it's really oh. good though man yeah I, most of it's good the brain guy and when he's trying to cover <laughs> that we're gonna try to cover the brain guy's eyes oh, that was funny. he doesn't see the gore like i i don't yeah. know the the creature design was was fun i i mean it, it's it's quirky and it, and for the most part it works it's the, just the best it, kill is it, the first it, kill the first kill, they do the double the guy head. With his eyes rolling back. No, the double, head? no, the double head rip of the two guys. Oh. Then the guy with the eyes rolling back. Oh, that was great. That was the, great. I thought it was good for comic relief when when she knocks him over and he's like, "My masterpiece!" Like that yeah. was <laughs> true, but still. And then the lips yeah. going, "Thank you." See, great yeah. comedy. Yeah, but then, but then that wasn't got... comedy to me. That was fucking horrific. Oh Only no, that was that was pure comedy. comedy. Oh, and then so they didn't bother me. And they way. did it again later with the cop when they changed the cop. He's like, Ooh. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, it's like, what's this? Jumped what's the, the show? No, no that character table? jumped the fucking yeah, show. Please kill me. <laughs> yeah, and then she pissed me off. That was this is supposed to be a nice message, not not this. That's when I hated her because she showed no fucking compassion. That's when my, my, I started to hate that girl. That please, fucking scene right there. Please kill him. <laughs> yeah. That jumped the show. Uh, walking around like that it was and you know even before that i'm like why would the cops all of a sudden come after this guy when he's been in restaurants he's been walking around everybody no first and foremost nobody's making a big deal that this fucking thing even exists which is ridiculous and then by the time it does happen cops come fucking that's days later they would have come much sooner that's than the that. Com- that's the comedy of it. How ridiculous! Stupid. Look, they go, they go into that convenience store, and you see people walking outside, and that kid Alistair, who's been turned into a blob, is just sitting outside the convenience oh. store, just wiggling his tentacles. I hate that fucking thing. That I'm telling is. you, if this movie came out in the '80s, you guys would both be blowing it. No, I think, I, I think, it's just, I really do. I think I it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. I it's don't Toxic hate Avenger. It. Ass. I don't hate it. Nah, I like Toxic Avenger oh, a lot better. Toxic Avenger. So, well, they, that's, that's but but the end, at the end of the day, this is taking a tearing a page from that, tearing a page from that with, to be honest, better effects and much more gore. The better Avengers. effects, more gore, but but that's why I don't like the other trauma movies except Toxic Avenger. This is more trauma esque. It like those other movies that I don't watch that I'm not into. It's just like even that brain when he got turned into a brain, I'm thinking. How is this guy able to go home to his parents and how, and, and, and still live that. life? Yeah, and it's fucking so stupid at the end. It's, it's, it's how yes, stupid. They do that on purpose. It's, it's stupid. They know it's stupid. They're not even trying to hide the fact that it's stupid. That's what's so great about it. it, it it's hilarious him going to the dinner table and them not noticing. And the scene lasting way yeah. too long for its own good, but it's over the final credits. It's funny to me. And they, they do take... They do take some uh, inspiration from other horror movies. Uh, yes, certainly Hellraiser, bringing that girl on board, the Templar, and turning 100%. her into, like, the puzzle box. That was great. Uh, and then he smashed that, her. that was really cool, and then he smashed her. And also yes. uh, the dream sequence where where uh, PG is uh, in Luke's dream. That's very... Uh, phantasm. Very phantasm. Yeah. And then you and, see Freddy crawling out of the one. It's not Freddy, but it's a guy wearing a striped fucking sweater. Yeah, yeah. But every time he wants to tell a story, he gets cut off. And so they're just about to go into this, some kick-ass stuff. And then it's like the, one of the kids cuts him off and it, and it stops. Good comedy there. And the fact that he can never remember the boy's name. And you. I couldn't either. Boy. I think it's hilarious. Either. It's weird. I remember every name but his. Isn't that weird? I, the same thing happened to me. I had the same brain as him at the end. I'm like, wait a minute. I know her name, her name, her name. What the fuck is that kid's name? It's weird. <laughs> Luke. Luke. I never. You could have given me a hundred fucking choices just now, and Luke, I would have not have come up. Speaking of Luke, that one scene is a hundred percent fucking mock uh, of the scene in Attack of the Clones when they're all sitting around. All those alien beings are sitting around that one table having that discussion, which 
I don't like this scene in Attack of the Clones because they're all talking about what they're going to do. And, oh, this is this. And even the way some of them talk sounded like Star Wars guys. And the, you yeah, know that yeah, one yeah. scene in Attack of the Clones when they're in there and they're in CGI and the guy starts talking, duh, 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 and then he, he goes, and he adjusts that fucking knob. Oh, I, that's one of my problems with the fucking prequels. Even though I like them and I, I like the entire franchise, he was trying too hard to do weird things where in the past, where in the other movies... It, it seemed more natural in that form. Oh, organic. It was more organic and not forced. Yes. It seemed. But wasn't I, it? I, I, yeah. seen, even their voices, the one talk like one of the fucking, uh, the Viceroy and she like just sitting around talking. Yeah. It was weird. I was yeah. like, well, this is just like a star. And how about the Cassius thing being just fucking the same name, but a different character, but a whole tie into Clash of the Titans with the fucking, the, the bird on his shoulder instead of the owl. Yeah. And Cassius was the bad guy in fucking. In Clash of the Titans. That was cool. Little things oh, like they, that. They the looked, burning poster. And the makeup on that guy looked great. Oh, it looked good. Yeah, the makeup did look good. And, and the girl the, the in the beginning and later on, the, the people that enslaved them, that they had that, that white stuff on there where they're all white, like robotic. Yeah, the, Templars. Cool. the Templars. The Templars. That stuff looked good. I, I honestly wish that they could make a wacky movie like this. But just keep all the comedy out of it. Just keep it like that. Like a, a modern day Clash of the Titans type thing with gore and, and something. But just no comedy. Just fucking play it straight. I think then I would really have enjoyed it. Because the comedy is just just not my type of comedy. It's just too much. Too, too, yeah, I, too really much. Liked, I, I really liked the comedy. I'm not saying all of it hit. But there was enough that hit that I was laughing out loud numerous times. More than some. Uh, I mean that that says it's a success. Excuse me. I I just think it overstayed its welcome. I think it it just re regurgitated the same shtick over and over. And at the end of the movie, I was just like, all right, I just felt unsatisfied. There was no sort of like resolution that I really liked. I I kind of yeah, I kind of like the fact that the father says to the girl, "Whoa, you almost forgot to." To make sure he he uh, he'll save he he'll spare the rest of the planet, and she <laughs> does anyway. She forgets because then the next scene is him breaking through a time portal and destroying it Earth. Destroyed everything. Yeah. Although it's funny because if you listen She's to the fine. news sequence, there's a news sequence playing over the credits. And it said no casualties have been reported, even though he's like literally <laughs> like 50, 50 feet tall now. He looks like fucking Godzilla, and he's fucking blowing up buildings. <laughs> But I don't like that video game type type stuff. Like I don't either. That Japanese. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I've seen that but yeah. like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers meets a, like yeah. if you watch the Guyver movies, Guyver and Guyver Dark, whatever the part two, that is exactly what this reminded me of from from that realm. I've never even heard of those things. That's so yeah. Weird. That's yeah. literally yeah. what yeah. people yeah. say. My, Power Rangers meets the Guyver. I never watched Power Rangers, but I remember the guy. Me neither, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't anyway. Even if yeah, I it's was not. A... It was never my type of thing. And like this isn't like my name. type of thing. I enjoyed <laughs> this. I just don't love it on the level that I mean. It. I, some people are hating it. I don't hate it by any means. I just. It's I don't not know. Funny. I would have liked more. I, I would have liked more character growth. I didn't. I felt like no. Character I thought there was. See, this is where I'm going to disagree. I got, I got mad because my notes literally say could have gotten away without a cheese ball ending. They still had a cheese ball ending. I wanted the girl for fucking, and I, I don't want to spoil, but I wanted the girl to to stay the course for once. Where at the end, she was the same she was and what she turned into instead of doing anything tender. Just fucking once, or even better, even better. It would have been nice to see a character that maybe I didn't like or even did like that you wouldn't expect fucking killed because you could get away with that in a movie like this because it's such an odd duck. So why go the regular route that every other fucking movie goes and then somebody show fucking heart? We've seen it time, time. It was, it was minor time. heart though. Like it's like, but it was yeah. enough major. It was a minor, but it was also a major in its implications. I mean, think about what, what, what that's wouldn't it have been better if 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 it went because you could do that in a movie like this. It's a fucking odd duck. You could do whatever you want in this movie. It could have gone in a different direction, and they could have said, "Well, fuck you," or "Frig you," and boom, that's it. I'm gonna get what I oh. want. How cool would it have been if it had a downbeat? Oh, I like end? the frig you. You're you're. No. I like the frig you. No, I like no. the murder ball okay, or whatever. The uh, tie-ins. The frig yeah. you and the whole the frig off music video. It's it's rebel yell. 
It was it's okay. fucking Rebel Yell. Right, it was. I, like that. I didn't I mind like that. The, it was okay. Like the, it's not too much. It's a straight up rip off. Like the montages and the videos. Yeah, uh, it's right. the idea, though, B. It's supposed to be a, a rip off of Rebel Yell. It's the 80s type of thing. It's fucking. Yeah. It's in fun. Everything's a rip off in here. I wasn't a. I wasn't a fan of the of the just random music video in the middle of it. I understood why though. If you give me a reason why, I get it because the guy had the power to do those things. The why I had a problem with is why when they turned that kid into a brain, I thought it was just going to be temporarily. She's going to say, "Oh no, that's my friend," and then change him back. No, instead he has to live his life like that, and fucking nobody cares. Nobody just like nobody cared that he was in a fucking restaurant. Well, fucking- it doesn't matter. The universe is being destroyed anyway because she forgot to to ban him from from destroying Earth. So it's it's just it's it's silly. I get it. I'm not, I don't want to overanalyze this film, but oh. like I just didn't feel like I don't know. I think that's exactly what they're trying to do is you're like, well, what about that kid that got turned into a brain? And they they decided to add the scene in. Oh, well, he's going to live his life. And his parents are so not even realizing it. It's stupid as shit, but it answers the damn question. They could have, obviously they could have not left that scene or not put that scene in and just left it like, well, whatever happened to that kid? It's there. It's there for the stupidity. And, and I kind of like it for that as well. And again, like it, it, I don't it's, know. It's fun. There's we're not deep. There's no deep dive here. The plot is the plot is nothing new. It's totally ludicrous, but it's like a fluff movie made for fun. And <laughs> I I appreciated the comedy. Obviously, you guys did not as much. I I like some the comedy. Gets... The warrior's death. The whole gag with the warrior. Oh, death, I like it. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> you yeah. fought honorably. You will deserve a warrior's death. No, anything but that. <laughs> I thought it was cool. I, I was just into the kill. I didn't, I didn't even think oh, it was the first one, the first was cool. one when they actually show like yeah. his whole mouth open up. But no, I, I found <laughs> the clown. That, that massacre? I, you know, that massacre when he had the fight against the four of them or five of them and then, oh, dude, that was great. Yeah. Wow. No, I mean, there's some cool things in there. I just, it's just not my cup of tea overall. I agree. I agree. But I liked it more than something like Greasy Strangler, which is it was also uh, uh, odd uh, and not my cup of tea. But this it at least has more entertainment to it. It's weird and other stuff, but I it doesn't it's not really simple like fucking Greasy Strangler. This there's some thought put into it. There's some time. And I, I have one question in this movie that makes a difference, just like with the last movie. How come what did I miss? Yeah, it makes a big difference. What? How come when everything first comes to fruition in the beginning and we realize that that PG can't do what he wants to do because someone is holding something, why – what is the reason he can't just destroy them and, and take it? Why, he, why is power being held over him? Why, why can't he say, well, boom, I, I'll kill this person then? You know what I mean? Or, or threaten them somehow. Why, does, why does he have to be – Taking orders when he has all the conne- he's connected to it. He's connected to it because he was enslaved. I get that, so, but why they, not? But he he was not like an all powerful being, and when he was freed and and dug up that thing and and became all powerful, he he connected with the with the gem. So the gem okay. became a part of him, and the gem controls him. I understand that, but that's not okay. Let me rephrase it. Let's let's put it in the terms of of, of us. Let's say um, I I could only speak. Because um, I, I had a magic ball in my pocket, a red rubber ball, okay? And Brandon fucking stole that ball from me. So now I can't speak. And I'm going to say, Brandon, for whatever reason, maybe I can't kill you because you're holding the ball. But you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to kill Christian. What do you think of that? I'm going to kill Christian unless you give me that ball. Why wasn't that even thought of? Or why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't you say, oh, I could just behead you and you're still going to live? I you think could all, you could all... empower yeah, no? you could only do what the person holding the gem tells you to do. Right, but initially, that person didn't know that unless they're told that. So if somebody takes it and you know they have it, why wouldn't you just fucking whack them? Well, then we wouldn't have a movie. And again, and again, I, I these are these are the things that I find it's crazy. Those are the things that you always pick out. Never even entered my mind or bothered me. My things are like. The dialogue of getting to his name of Psycho Gorman and PG, I thought was forced and too quick. And that part, that's the stuff I didn't like. That was fine. Uh, 
as opposed to, well, that, that's the stuff like, oh, what are we going to name him? Hmm, how about Gorman? How, how about Psycho Gorman? Oh, PG for short. It just, that's the stuff that I'm like, oh, wow, there's no rhythm there. There's no sense, like, there's, the flow there seems forced. That's the stuff that bothered me. Uh, and I, I'll nitpick over the fact that they just, that they didn't think of like killing him right away didn't even enter my mind. The it's gem, the gem makes perfect movie. sense to me. He, the, the gem is con- is connected with him, and whoever holds it has control over him. So he can't do anything unless that person says. What does bother me is when they do the backstory of how how you know he's defeated and and, uh, and how the gem is separated from him. How did they both? How did he wind up two feet away from the gem in the backyard. Did they ever explain that? Who? PG. How did he end up on Earth buried in, in their backyard? They never explained that. Oh, I never even thought no. about that. Right, right. How did he? You're right. That That's not explained. But see, my issue with what I was saying earlier, I always put myself in the place of the characters because I'm experiencing with them. So I'm watching a movie and I'm like, well, if I'm this guy, boom. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just... I watched this movie oh, twice, right. and I never once put myself in the position of any of these <laughs> characters. Except maybe lazy. Well, if you, yeah, but you want something. Your psycho PG wants something. You can't put your, yourself in that position of you wanting to retrieve something and what you would do to do it. I can't help but do that when I watch them. Okay. Uh, and when things are explained, I'm like, well, why the fuck are these people still standing? When they could just be fucking obliterated. Well, that's why he calls. It, that's why he calls his group down with the television. Right, but he could. Yeah, but then by then it was too late. I'm talking initially when he's in there in the shoe factory and they come in and the thing goes on. Why not just fucking as soon as you get? First of all, don't, there shouldn't be any time for discussion. But even if you let them live for a few minutes for whatever fucking dumb reason you're gonna do, I can maybe look the other way. But then when you get the information, oh here, here, here's my red rubber ball. Okay, as soon as B holds out this red rubber ball and I have the power to fucking take him out, but I don't want to destroy the ball, I'm just going to decapitate him. It takes fucking two seconds. Zoom, cut off your fucking scalp. Dad, give me my ball. Thanks, game over. It just, I just don't get why somebody who is this amazing warrior and has all this fucking intelligence and to do all the stuff and to go into all this depth about everything doesn't do the fucking obvious thing in that moment. Because he wasn't really an amazing warrior until he was connected with the gem. He even talks about it. I mean, he started out his life imprisoned. They were weak species that were killed until he broke free and and found this rare gem that connected with him and made him this all-powerful warrior. And then he got this thirst for blood and destroying universes. Yeah, but he has the mental awareness to fucking do all these things that he does do when he does them. The warrior's death and this and that, and we see all the great ways he kills people. You brought honor. Not dumb. You will get a war. <laughs> I don't. I don't think him to be stupid. I just think I like. like how are you I gonna do, let yourself be taken advantage of that way? I do like, like the fact that. when when he reaches out to the father because he's hurt, and he, he's giving him directions while he's in the bathroom. I don't know why I thought that was funny because he's screaming. He comes through like the portal. He's screaming. It's like I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, to get that was there. funny. See, that the was worst, funny. There were now some, and again. There were you know, some really funny parts. Yeah, every around. 10 minutes have a joke or <laughs> something like that. I could dig that, just not throughout, I guess. I, I think I would it would have been better served because it was coming from so many different angles of sci-fi and, and movies from the 80s and this and that. It would have been better served, I think, overall, uh, just if you remove like 50% of the jokes and just, just played it straight in, in more ways. But like, okay, red rubber ball thing again. B, if you have the red rubber ball in your pocket that make, allows me to speak, at some point you're going to go to bed. So why not when you go to sleep, why can't I come into your bedroom and fucking cut your head off? That's How's true that? because Simple. he does he yeah. does try to grab it from her a few times and she's like, stop it! Right. But, but yeah. But they're awake. People have to fucking sleep. I know. That's what true. I'm saying. Shit like that, true. I mean, but... She does say to him, I can't, you I... sit there. You sit there. <laughs> maybe I'm the maybe I'm the I know we're doing this for the show. I, I always bring this up when we talk about a movie that's entitled Cycle Gorman or of the of of similar ilk of like it, it, it's funny that like I def, just never think of questioning it because I, it's not that type of movie. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it should no, I, think of what if they're asleep and whatever. <laughs> there's there's no right or wrong. People just decide as viewers to either look the other way about that or just because they're enjoying the ride, not not put together 
uh, pieces that they would in a movie that wasn't this type of movie. But I do it no matter what I'm watching. And I understand a fun movie. People are going to say, oh, you just don't like fun movies. Sure, I fucking do. VFW was fun as hell. I enjoyed it. To me, that was fun. It was still played straight. There's a little goofy things that happen gore-wise, I guess. But, I mean, to me, that's a fun movie. Ready or not, that's a fun movie. Movies like this, just for me, there is some fun to be had. But just total schlock beginning to end just doesn't resonate with me look at the ending to me is the most confusing thing it doesn't make sense to me i didn't even care by that point because i was kind of yeah angry that it was going but if you, if you see what happens at the end what 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 he does at the end it's like wait so so you're going with like i don't that doesn't make sense but but at that point you're right at that point who cares a lot of things don't make sense yeah I, I, I definitely liked it the most, but again, I also just took it for what it was, enjoyed the enjoyed the comedy. I was more I was more turned off by the girl and her delivery of lines at the beginning. It didn't it just didn't seem to flow, but then she sort of won me over by the end. It, it's funny. That was my biggest problem with wow, it was not opposite. being able to connect with that girl. <laughs> wow. I was the complete opposite. I liked it. I liked her snarkiness at the beginning and yes. then like halfway through I'm like it became enough. a cunt. It's enough. Yeah, enough I'm like enough. it's enough. Her her delivery of it's murder or whatever the hell it's called, creepy, uh, crazy ball, whatever the fuck it is when she's in her bed. I'm like, oh, that could have been. I like it, that. You knew it was coming, but it, 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 it her delivery of it I, was awful. I love that when she dismisses her mother. <laughs> well, I, I don't like that. It's the way it just, she didn't do it well enough, in my opinion. Uh, I didn't so, love it. I accepted it. I accepted for the kind of movie I was watching at the time. Like, okay, so this is the type of personality she's going to be ha- having. A, they're stretching it a little bit. I could see some kids that goof around with their parents. They're going to stretch it. Okay, uh, going in, I knew that it was going to be a little silly. So I accepted it, but I had no idea that she was going to be this cold-hearted bitch. By, by the, I just, I, I didn't like that. You know, I was like, eh, how am I supposed to root for this person? Who am I rooting for? Fucking her? The brother, maybe, I guess he's the only good soul. You know what I mean? He really is. Obviously, PG is this fucking thing. I mean, it's like rooting for, he's bas- He's definitely a, a combination of fucking, of, um, what do you call it? Um, the Creeper, uh, Peliquin from fucking Nightbreed, and Darth Vader. That's totally what he is. Peliquin? Isn't that the bike? Oh, no, Peliquin. Pel- that's Peloton. <laughs> Peliquin's the guy, meat. For the beast, the fucking guy yeah. from Nightbreed. Yeah, that, no, yeah, I know. Bites, a, yeah. A bad Peloton joke. <laughs> what about Paladin? Paladin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I, I I haven't even looked at my notes, but I just. Yeah, I didn't look at my notes either since it's. Yeah. Wow. Well, I I didn't take one note. Wow. I just sat back and enjoyed the movie, and I just said, "Oh, I should write down these lines that I thought were hilarious." Cause I lost my mind, like my lucky bat, and 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 just. <laughs> I, I see it when he says my, my lucky, lucky bat, bat. Like I, I didn't, I. It didn't strike <laughs> one, one bit of my funny bone at it's all. It's not it's... my type of comedy because it's misplaced. You know how I feel about that. When people are in the middle of life-threatening things, nobody would make a joke. I like that he calls him. I like the way the father calls him Mr. Gorman at one point. I like the way he says, "How's this for lazy Susan?" Yes, I like that. That like that's more my type of humor. I like when he high fives PG and then his hand breaks. But yes, that, me too. That's I'm my too. comedy. The I lucky mean, bat. I was just like, I can accept. Right. The lucky bat was the first line that I just lost <laughs> fucking mind at. <laughs> that's funny, man. That's funny. It's just different sense of the humor, I guess. And of course, not my hunky boys. And that was a little. It was okay. I I I don't know. I I thought it was kind of comical. It was okay. I don't, I didn't I don't like... care for hunky boys, or do I? <sighs> yeah, I didn't know what he meant by that. Why? Was he, was he inference that that he was gay, or was he inference that he yeah. was going to use that for something evil? Maybe. See, that's what I was thinking at first, but then no, at the I mean, end, he just doesn't realize if he's gay or not. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. then that's okay. I don't know. It's just strange. Here's what it was. This woman's name was Susan, and the whole movie was bothering me. Like, I know this woman had the name of Susan in some other movie, and it's bugging me, and it's bugging me, and it's bugging me. And finally, in the last act, in the climax, it, 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 I figure it out right after she comes, turns back to normal. She reminds me of the woman who was named Susan. 
in Seinfeld, in Seinfeld yeah. that was engaged to George Costanza that died from licking the envelopes. Yep. The NBC exec. Is it, it her? Does. I don't know. It's not but her, she... but it looks like her. You're right. Yes, it was bugging me. I'm like, this. I go, she's playing the same role. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Then it finally smacked me in the end. I was like, oh, yeah, Susan from Seinfeld. I go, well, I don't think that's quite her, but she looks <laughs> like her. It does, yeah, yeah, you're right. It does. It is kind of. She does kind of look like her. Yeah, it was driving me batty. I was like, "That's her." I go, maybe that's her. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, "That's helpful. the perfect name for her, Susan." You know. But I'm sure some people are absolutely loving it because I know how people are. People just seem to love this type of of schlocky stuff. I wish I could join the club. I, I, I believe me. I wish. I don't I love all of them. I don't love all of them, but I thought this one just hit, had more hits. Than misses for me. I still said it, it over, like it, it overstayed its welcome a, a little bit. I think the second act lags a little bit, and then it picks up again at the end. Uh, um, there was a time frame where I kind of felt like I was falling out of it, but then I'm like, something happened, made me laugh, and then I was right back in with the gore and the overtop zaniness. I think it's like when the police cop is like, "Please kill me," like fucking comedy gold. With that piece of paper, please kill me. <laughs> I like the fact oh, that they just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the fact that they're just walking casually and he keeps firing his gun. <laughs> what this fucking little kids walking here? <laughs> right? I didn't like anything. At first, I thought he was going to die that way, and I even wrote, melted cop, cool, because I thought that was going to be the end of him. I didn't know that he was going to be walking around for fucking half an hour longer doing that shit. Then I was like, eh. The card, to me, that was jump the shark. The card's oh, funny, oh. though, because where did he get the card from? <laughs> That's the funny part of it. It's like I don't know. Get, where did he get the construction paper? Where did he, where, he didn't cut <laughs> Like, where did it come from? That's what's funny about it. It's like, where the hell did this go? It's fun. It's good comedy. Well, I knew what it was going to say. I guess maybe that's why. I think, <laughs> what? I had no clue. I, I should know that's what it was going to say. I, because I we've seen fuck. that in so many other movies and people are suffering and they say, please kill. So when he got paid, right away, I knew that's what the note was going to say. Something about, you know, kill me. You know what I mean? So then she kill opened me. it. Kill me, is, kill me is kill me. Please kill me is where I think the comedy comes Oh, okay. Oh, that's fair. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier talking okay. about it than when, than when watching the movie. It really is. But here's the problem. Because I didn't laugh like this watching the movie. No, I got angry immediately because of her reaction. She's like, I, I wanted you to send me nice love notes or nice happy note, whatever the fuck. And she p- completely disregarded that this poor bastard was suffering that way. And that's when I said, <laughs> as soon as that happened, this is my note. I know I wrote something about it. I said, melted cop. She was fun, but now I'm against her. That's what it took. She was fun for a little bit, fun shtick, but as soon as you start treating people that way, I, I was against the character, and she just got worse from then on as far as being a, a, a C-U-N-T. I didn't yeah. like her anymore. Yeah, she could frig off. Yeah. Get if that's the character you're supposed to root for. VHS collectors. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't resonate. I just couldn't be on board with her. The only character that I really was on board with start to finish was the brother. He was fucking righteous the whole time. That was a good you. character. I'm with you. I like the brother, too. Well, how could you not? He didn't do anything wrong. All he yeah. did was try to do what he thought was the right thing. Why would you not? He was fair when he lost the game in the beginning. He was digging a hole. He, was a <laughs> player. he accepted was, his freaking thing. Everything. He was. That was, step, that was straight up stepbrothers. She's burying him. Like, hurry up. I want to bury you and go to bed. <laughs> huh? Like, that's stepbrothers. Like, everything was, like, taken from, like, another movie. <laughs> I do like the plan B at the end with the whole council and everything. It's like, all right. Oh, that was a funny joke. I who, like wants that. To, who wants to go first? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, gun, the actual gun that they have is like a mobster gun. <laughs> and like, you figure they'd have some sort of laser cannon or something. They put like, it's like, I like deer the, hunter. I like the skeleton, the, the brain skeleton guy. He's like, I'll go first. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. He's almost sheepishly coming up. Like, he reminds me of like the shrunken head at the end of Beetlejuice. He's all nervous and shaky. I, I think that's probably what they're going for. Because yeah. I, I agree. It, oh, it's, it was fun. Fun stuff. There's another movie. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Um, Mars Attacks. Those things. Yeah. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, and they have the helmet on type thing. But there's another movie where somebody is a brain with eyeballs, and I can't remember what it is, but that's what it reminded me of. Same color and everything. Head, head, head of the family? 
No, no, nothing like that. Something way cooler. Damn. I don't know. It's a brighter Something. reanimator. I think it's Frankenhooker. Uh, I never saw that movie. You never saw Frankenhooker? Another movie I won't watch because of the name. No, it's, I'm sure it's going to be fucking utterly ridiculous. I'm it's not a big fan of Frankenhooker at it's all. It's probably like this. That, that kind no, of goof. Franken. Frankenhooker, I actually, I've never been a huge fan of. I've been watched it. I've watched it numerous times. I like James Lorenz, the guy from Street Trash. Oh, I just I, like. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I didn't but even know he was in it. Is that black? I just saw the cover and the title, and I said, eh, probably not black? my favorite. Because by that time, he was doing Basket Case 2 and 3. What did you say, Belial? He kept saying Belial <laughs> over and fucking over again. <laughs> that, that, dude, that's what happened with him, though. You know, he, after he made the first basket Henry case, and then, Bilal, and, you almost said Bilal. <laughs> yeah, and, and and brain damage. By the time basket case two and three came out, and I want to say they came out before Franken Hooker, I can't tell you for certain, but I just remember being at that time and after seeing those movies, and then seeing a title called Franken Hooker. I'm like, ah, this is Elmer. Elmer. I don't <laughs> want more comedy than horror in my horror. A horror comedy. I can agree with. I would rather have 75% horror, some comedy, if I'm going to have it. But I don't like when the movie is 75% comedy and 25%. It's just not for me. If I'm going to watch a knew, comedy. I think we knew going into this, though. Like, Yeah, we knew. Sure kind did. of. Yeah. I didn't know comedy. I thought it was going to be like I was picturing something like, like I said, that Speed Racer, whatever the fuck it is. Turbo Kid. Whatever. Because every time I... You know why I say that? Every the, from the very <laughs> first time, I'll tell you why. They're both very fast. Well, no, because from the very first time I heard that title, Turbo Kid, I immediately thought of that. You know Speed that little Racer. character in Speed Racer, the kid that hangs out with the monkey and he has the beanie, the red and white beanie. To me, that would be a Turbo Kid. I don't think you can say that. <laughs> what, beanie, whatever the fuck he wore. Was that he little Jewish? kid. I don't so know. Was I, there... Why did you change your slogan or your saying? You're supposed to say, I can't, you can't say that. You're like, I don't think you can say that. You, you know, <laughs> you've like twisted it all around now. It's like all diplomatic and shit. I'm getting, I, I'm getting tired. You can say that. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to be talking about this fucking movie as long as we have been, to be totally honest. I'm shocked. Well, shocked. oh, this guy. Yeah, he does. See, look at, look at this guy. That kid, that's Turbo Kid to me. When I heard that title, that's, that's what I picture, a kid that's into car racing. No, I'm just saying, when I heard that title, <laughs> Turbo Kid, that's the thing that popped into my head was that kid because he's he's part of fucking Speed Racer and Turbo Speed Racer. I don't know. I did. I forget I had to do with cars. So every t- I used to always say that, so that's why I call it Speed Racer. I don't know. Oh. You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm starting to agree with Levi. <laughs> <laughs> Well, come on, that's so, not a turbo kid. Yeah. You should never separate a turbo kid from his pet monkey. <laughs> yeah, he's a turbo kid. He's turbocharged. He's a speed racer. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? So, so that's what I expected. Something more I like turbo kid. But I'm shocked. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just shocked that you guys. Uh, I, I well, turbo kid was kind of like that too. Goofy, gory, like a lot of like. You know, '80s type of soundtrack music. I it was the same I sort of. I like the soundtrack thing. in Turbo Kid better. I like the huh? relationships better. Uh-huh. I like. I mean, it wasn't as goofy to me. Yeah, exactly. When I Turbo Kid. I don't think of fucking goofery freaking. What do you call it? Uh, um, trauma shit. I just don't. But when I think of this movie, I do. Well, know, that's not the same director. Same same sort no. of. Of course, same not. sort of era, but I I liked Turbo Kid. I liked this. I like this more than Turbo Kid. I'm at a half head explosion, but I'm at a, I'm at the higher end of a half head, to be honest. I'm a half head explosion. I I I enjoyed it. I I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. I'd watched the preview, so I I kind of knew what yeah. to expect as well. Well, I'm a mild rumble. That's it. I'm I don't know where I am because I'm at that high mild rumble, low half head. So somewhere in there. <laughs> Does that matter? This is why this is where people get pissed off at us. They're like, you, six you guys don't even know what the fuck. Six, six yeah, and a half to seven. Six and a half to yeah. seven. Me too. Maybe, is, seven yeah. is the beginning of a half head. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll go the seven just so, because I had a good time laughing on some of these jokes again on this show. So I'll I'll go the the low end of a half head, and I don't mind saying the rating because 
it's not gonna it's not it's not gonna 10. make my list right or your list so i've had a lot you know i've only i've watched like 14 new movies this year or 11, 10 of them or 11 of them have been hard let me guess slow start same no it's not here. slow it's not even slow start it's everything is very average there have been some horrible movies but everything is very average the best movies i've seen this year are the ones that I watch thinking they might be horror and aren't horror. At least you're admitting that they're not a horror. Good. At least you're... Oh, st- straight up. Good. Not. Because people like to fit it in there and because they want to talk about it or because it's a horror podcast. So the, well, there's a little bit of a horror something in it. So just so I can rate it high and put it on my list, well, that, well, I'm going to fool myself into calling it a horror movie. A lot of people were doing that with this movie <laughs> called Run, Hide, Fight. And it's a straight up like diehard school shooting type movie. It's dark. Yeah. It's dark and it's super entertaining and it's real life horror, yes, but it's not a oh, horror movie. But it's, it's not true. a horror movie. But it's and one it's of my. okay. I'm not coming condemning them. I'm, I'm like I said, different strokes, man. Yeah, Whatever. no. If, if you people... want to call it that, be my guest. I'm just telling you why I wouldn't. And, I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to. Se- I I always try to separate the best I can. But uh, for me, this one wasn't horror. But yeah, my favorite one of the year so far is actually Bloody Hell. So far, I okay. really enjoyed that. Bloody Hell, really actually, enjoyed it. Bloody Hell is my second Bloody highest rated horror, horror film. But and, nothing, uh, I, I don't have uh, any yeah. eights this year. I don't have any eights yet. That would that would be, uh, um, well, this one and uh, Bloody Hell I rated a little bit higher. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I, I Like thoroughly. I, that main character, that guy is awesome. He's um, I just have to, I, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say the main issue with Bloody Hell and why it didn't go up into, you know, potential end of year list making the middle of that film spends 45 minutes in one location in the basement and they spend way like too long though. way oh. too long in there they should have they should have been out of there in 10 minutes and it should have been like 35 minutes in the house and stuff should have been more of like a like a hide and go seek like a ready or not almost when it just was well, way too much for me I just have- an update because when we started when we talked about this and i don't even remember now if this was pregame or because we didn't really pregame too long but i mentioned that the guy hadn't dropped off my freddy versus jason tape that i bought uh i bought it for a buck 50 he hadn't dropped it off he texted me i didn't even reach out to him yet wow so he, he texted me while we were recording the show uh and this is from vhs collectors canada a whole different group <laughs> so i shit on planet vhs <laughs> but he just collectors Canada. But look, he wrote, so I stupidly drove to Burlington last week and I left your tape at my front door. I'm making a trip back now to drop your tape off. Sorry about that. Somehow totally blanked on it, despite being the original reason I was going. I'll message you when it's in your mailbox. Laugh out loud. What do you wind up wow. doing then? <laughs> Probably got high for the ride. He he actually was what? coming to, he said it was the main reason, but he also bought some tapes from somebody in Burlington and he was saying uh, he was picking them up, which is the original reason he offered to do this instead of shipping. So I paid him a, a like almost like a delivery fee, if you will. Will but he drop off in Oshawa? Yeah, he'll, he'll drop <laughs> off. Now can but I, not, I will he drop <laughs> off in New Jersey if I order uh, a bag of milk from him? No. <laughs> no. Michael, Michael is a saint. No. What? Levi Etheridge <laughs> himself. <laughs> That's funny. I, I my my anger is towards Anthony, and your anger's anger is more towards Levi. It's, it's because of the facial hair. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even a, look at it. there. <laughs> <laughs> and for God's sakes, people, since we've been podcasting every year, and I don't understand why, and I know I'm not, but. I don't understand why I'm the smartest guy in the world. How come every year it's the same thing and no one can figure it out? Every year I hear people complain, 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 complain. Oh, this year's slow. Oh, I don't like a horror this year. And then the final quarter of the year, everybody's like, oh, this year really came around. I really enjoyed this year. Haven't you not noticed the trend fucking five, six, seven years now? I don't understand why people are still... Do they not? I have no memory. Everyone knows I have a shit memory, but I remember enough that every year in horror starts out slow and ends strong. I, I, I don't will say, I, I tell will... you, I have, I'm happy with how this bloody hell and single Gorman right now are con- possible contenders. Bloody hell. Whether you like that or not. Bloody fucking hell, Psycho Gorman? Well, it's an eight. <laughs> it's an eight. And I know there's other people that have it higher. I know. 
No, there people are. have texted. There are. SC loved it, so it's Scott, probably a ten Scott out of ten. Loved it too. Scott gave it a ten. Well, I already have two movies under a seven because of this podcast, but I, I anticipated that. I said, because we're doing this, um, we're going to be watching more newer movies that I wouldn't have ordinarily watched or I would have waited, but it's okay. I'm not sweating it this year because it, it's for the show. So be it. So I, I watch a few ones that let don't make say, a... Let me say this. I have three, three of my 11 horror films are below, are four or below. You better start consulting with me, buddy. You, I, I won't miss me. <laughs> I do have my, my favorite one, believe it or not, so far this year has been Ten Minutes to Midnight. I really enjoyed that film. I'm gonna or, watch that. I think. I'm gonna I, watch I, that because you like it, and I'm gonna watch the other one because she sure. likes it. I think you, sure. I actually Ten think you're gonna like Bloody Hell better. I think you're gonna think I, Ten Minutes I, to I, Midnight yeah. is way too low budget and, and confusing. At the end, you're gonna be like, "What the fuck is this? I don't like this." I really, genuinely I, believe you're not gonna like it. Oh, to be I'm, honest, I think Jason. I think Jason Smith. Summed it up perfectly. I, I, that's why he was angry, I think, because he thought that uh, Bloody Hell would be the best represented uh, or, or the one that we would like the best. And he was, to be honest, he was right. I think I did like Psycho Gourmet more than he did, but Bloody Hell is was my favorite <laughs> of the three. Dave, is he moving at like a, a cocaine pace for you? On it your... happens when he likes sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are like that, that cop in Psycho Gorman, or that no, that the thug. Anyway, ten seconds. That Please should be our kill me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I want to go from now on. What, what, what it says on the box: ten seconds, the pain begins. Fifteen seconds, you can't breathe. Twenty seconds, you explode. <laughs> yeah. That Japanese. Yeah. Our heads explode, you know, the, the video game blow ups. <laughs> I will say I, this though for I last do. year, my first watch oh, for 2020, cool. for 2020. Oh, good for C Froze, we don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, B, talk about your first watch. No, go ahead, C. What were you talking about? What are no, you I was ending the show, so you go ahead. <laughs> oh, he's ending the show, this guy. Yeah. Uh, no, I was gonna say, my, my favorite. 2020 film even though i wound up excluding it because i didn't think it was a horror film and i still don't think it's a horror film my first 2020 film and i watched 239 that year my first watch was probably my favorite of the year wow and now it is a very it was a not a, it wasn't a slow january there were about 30 films that came out but uh maybe even more but uh i just haven't i haven't hit my stride yet it's okay. Yeah. You There's can... nothing where I'm like, you gotta watch this. I do think you will enjoy Bloody Hell, though. And I rate yeah. that high. I rate that high. I'm so I'm in a half head explosion in, in that one. Nice. But it's it's just missing out on that that eight and above. It's just missing out. We'll get there, buddy. I promise. Oh, and yeah. Look at this VHS collectors. Look what I have. See the I think stand? you just dropped it off, actually. Look what I put in here. Oh. Well, that yeah. what you're doing is illegal. Styrofoam to keep the box in good shape. <laughs> See, I protect my boxes, don't Dude, I? Dude, that's how we used to do it. Now you know what you got to do? You got to get a uh, a shrink wrap machine. That's what I used to do at the video stores back in the day. That was one you of smell. my jobs. Shrink wrap my... screws them up. Screw, but, but then all of a sudden, because you have a light in your room, it glosses off and you can't see the box is good. I, I take all the wrapping off my boxes to get the, the true picture. Because believe me, it's I've had it happen. It's too shiny and shit. You know what I mean? No. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I'm just telling you that's the that's the real VHS delivered way. It. Look at that. Oh he shit. He delivered it already too. No, it was nice of you to meet him at the front door and say thank you. Guy drove six COVID. hours to, for a dollar fifty. Asked. COVID. Yeah, COVID. He's got four kids. He wanted he wanted, he wanted touchless. You, go. you couldn't I have gone onto the screen to... fucking door and been like, hey, thanks for uh, for driving six hours to make a 30 cent profit. <laughs> Dollar fucking 50 drives an hour and a half. I would have been, been knocked. I would have been like, I'm expecting fucking lunch. According with you fucking skunks. <laughs> I asked to get off. I was hoping the show. <laughs> it's time. Oh. Manchichi, nice. manchichi. What? What's going on? We love you. Long time. Why are you guys ending it like this? Why are you guys being so weird? Stop ending it. I didn't say goodbye yet. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>